we are now going to watch the I'm building a trans army panel with Lauren Southern, okay? And we're going to we're going to hear some of the arguments that some of the the trans people on this panel brought up. Now, a little bit of a warning in advance. Uh, just so you know, this entire panel is absolutely riddled with transphobia. A this panel discusses and advocates for conversion therapy. So, the just so you know what you're in for, okay? We're going to enjoy, we're going to kick back and react. We haven't done, we haven't done a nice little debate react, debate analysis, but we're going to analyze this little panel here, okay? So uh, let's get comfy. Let's find out where the real, where the conversation begins. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go that's OBS. Like, it's like. Maybe you, you... In between, they went from liking Nazi femboys. To... What is there we going go. on? Can, can I thought it actually like made some sense? I don't. Hey, Here's where it Hi, chat. Uh... There you go. Let me pull you up in chatter. You know. Okay, I'm just use optimize. Okay, I'm just going live on stream. Live. All right. Oh, I'm Hopefully live. this audio is fine. Okay, so I will. Uh, yeah. I'll put on my virtual cam on here then. Oh, dude, did you okay. want me to say it? Oh Obama. yeah. Oh, Obama. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> hey, there you go. Start it up. I... DGG wants me to say Obamna. Nice. How do I, how do I figure this out? What what the virtual camera are you OBS using? For the first time. Me. Oh, that's so yeah. I feel like every... that, wait, isn't that funny? Remember when all you know how all the DGG people say, "Oh, Lauren Southern doesn't have anything to do with DGG." Literally, the first thing said as the callers come in is a direct shout out. To DGG. Lamau. I feel like every stream is Lauren using OBS for the first time. Absolutely. <laughs> but why is it showing gray? I don't understand. Sleepy, do you know how to help her? I can't do any. Sleepy is like my mentally disabled, like, I'm like mentally Cammy, disabled. Cammy, don't use technology. slobs too. Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't come in here and instantly start talking about how you're all mentally disabled. I'm already banned <laughs> enough, all right? Yeah. Keep an eye out for stuff like this, okay? Keep an eye out for jokes like that. Notice, I want you all to pay attention, okay? Maybe I should do a bazinga every single time we hear negging, shall we? Can I get a bazinga? Let me see if I can get a bazinga going. Can we do that? Let's see. Bazinga. Perfect. It's nice and loud now. Let's go. Say this. Don't don't get both vods nuked here, okay? <laughs> okay. I'll be gonna... the Britney venti today. Yeah, he's gonna say we're not gonna hot drop Britney in here, are we? <laughs> Just right, bitch. Just right. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know what? YouTube needs YouTube needs more people over there, and it's purgatory. True. Okay, so I'm gonna get you all to introduce yourself. No, YouTube is hell. Well, I uh, and I'm the queen of it. Up. Um, Gammy, we'll start with you. You okay. absolutely hated me on Twitter.com like two months ago. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> I I am more moderate now. I I wouldn't say that. I, I used to. I am more moderate now. Oh! I'd say that I just had like a bad impression of you and like my impression of you is from your Wikipedia page. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do yeah, it. but I probably the thing that made me like warm up to you wasn't like I guess the first one would be I saw your talk with Mr. Girl that people were like saying you look terrible and but I thought it actually like made some sense. I don't agree with like everything but I like empathize I guess I should say. Okay, empathize. I'm a fan of Lauren Mr. Southern. Girl. Big I'm mistake. a big Mr. Girl fan. <laughs> oh, jeez, am I getting? Re oh, I can. Lauren hear needs things. to turn her gain up. All right, guys, this is gonna take me. Listen, this is gonna be ten minutes. <laughs> Do you guys remember what Mr. Girl got famous for? You guys remember what Mr. Girl got famous for? I've seen some. I've seen a lot of Mr. Girl content. That guy absolute piece of shit literally argues in favor of fucking pedophiles it's absurd and it's a setup i can't even figure i out mean it. your your gain's fine in obs i think it's just your gain in slobs <laughs> in slabs is this what we call it streamlabs I... obs <laughs> slobs yeah okay i'm hiding my library. video 
Oh, we got a cat in the video here. All right, Striker, and who are you? What's your background? I don't, I don't even, uh, I, I just know you wanted to be a part of my army that I built. Which, congratulations, you're <laughs> She's all building canceled. her token army. I am. Uh, I'm building an army. Oh, oh. Basically, I've talked to Gammy and uh, Sleepy a decent bit, and I'm also just like a DGG chatter, so. <laughs> okay. Ah, DGG chatter. So what chatter. you're telling me Excellent. is I truly have radicalized the DGG community. <laughs> So Striker was on sure. the sports channel, I believe. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was the only trans voice given the same perspective, which was really sad. Yeah. Was just, just okay, so what, let, let's, ironically. let's get into that, because, like, what what is going on? Can, can you guys explain to me, like, what is going on with the trans internet community? Like, it's we, always, I think we need a complete and total thing. shutdown of the online trans community yeah. to figure out what is going on. Bazinga! Un unironically, we need to... Bazinga! Complete and shoulder, like total shutdown of all online communities. Everything's gotten so fucking cringe and horrible. Yeah, I feel um, like it's there's... really radicalized on both sides. Like we have trans people who are like, it's like there's two. The other side is less prevalent, but like it used to be like a bunch of them were like pole like people who were like Nazi trans women, and now it's like the opposite where they're all like. Wait, wait, did you just say Nazi trans women? Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. Yeah, like the, the more, like, the yeah, oh, you didn't know that, stuff. Lauren? No, apparently oh, yeah, we're... I missed out on this phase. There's I, a I, ton. I guess this is Lauren's deep dive into 4chan lore. Oh my god. I was okay. I didn't follow these people very much. So a long time ago, there was a board on 4chan called Poll that used to be far I, I, right. I, I and now it's a bunch Pol. of like. All right, relax. Yeah. <laughs> now, now it's a bunch of lefty idiots. So. Lauren Southern is such a bitch to them. Holy shit. She invited all these people on. What a bitch. <laughs> Somewhere in between, they Holy went from shit. liking Nazi femboys to liking, <laughs> um, like, really extreme lefty femboys. So what you're, really what you're telling yeah. me is it's radicals like Radicals on the internet are entirely defined by who Pol are most attracted to at that moment. Pretty much. Yeah, who, whoever the most extreme is. Like, there's there's an ongoing joke between, like, me, Striker, Gami, and, like, the few people in our group chat that it's like if you're a trans woman like it's you you almost have like a character creator and like one of your skills that you have to pick <laughs> is like which like what part of the political spectrum you're going to be like radicalized to yeah. and like most people nowadays just select like pure author like authoritarian communists and it's fucking ooh, weird ooh, ooh. do you think it like so a lot of um trans politics has become like a popularity contest it is. Yeah, it's 100%. It's, it's unironically like um, popping all of your WoW buffs before raid. You just gotta get all of the like tags on right before you go into the Twitter war sphere. Yeah. I don't know, League. <laughs> uh, no, that was WoW. No, yeah, it was, oh. it was, it was WoW, yeah, Kami. Do you, I'm do you so mind? sorry. Now, as we've established in this chat, you're uh, you're on my side, so you are all women. No question about it, chat. All right, yeah. you all yes. can chill there in the chat. Um, you are all on my side, so you're women. Got it, chat? So she starts out by having to tell her chat not to misgender them, even though. They know this is a panel of trans women. And also, you're on my side, which means I'm going to call you a woman because you agree with me. Do you see what I said? Do you guys remember in the little little address I did at the beginning? Which, by the way, you, you all can feel free to clip and send that to Gammy if you want to. Please, feel free. Uh... That's it. You just don't have to say anything else. If you if somebody here knows Gammy and wants to deliver that clip to Gammy, please. But remember how I said that if anybody ever breaks rank, they now have a face and a name? That's what I'm talking about. You're all on my side, which means I'm going to say you're a woman. But if you ever break rank, we will stop treating you like that. Wow. I don't care what they say. <laughs> I, I'm but, ironically, this my my this is the second time that a tweet about you has gotten me canceled by trans Twitter. Did it's you not, guys it's see? It's not hard to. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Gammy. 
Oh, sorry. No, I, I apologize. But did you guys see I posted this? I was just like, I don't think Lauren's transphobic. Or if she is, she's not much more than, like, the median, like, American. And, like, I got, like, 50, like, quote retweets. I'm 99% sure they're, like, this, like, anarchist sphere from, like, the demon mama part of the internet. And, this like, is what I find half so... of these people are, like, doing the... My name is on everyone's lips! My name is always on your lips! Derangement! Like, low-tier god meme to me, which was, like, really funny, because there's other people who, like, cry if you, like, don't call them a cat or cat pronoun <laughs> or whatever. Bun or bun self. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is what's so crazy is, is, like, everyone's, like, jumping up and down, freaking out about me on Twitter because I, you know, had a gamer <laughs> moment, and I'm like... Because I had a gamer moment. Guys, do you guys know what a gamer moment refers to? A gamer moment is a joke that refers to people being racist or openly bigoted. That's what a gamer moment is. Oops, I had a gamer moment. No, no, no. You, If you say you had a gamer moment, you're admitting. You're admitting to being a disgusting bigot. That's the joke. Do you not realize what the average opinion of people worldwide no, is? No, don't cross that like, bridge! Oh, like, they're like so terrified as if I'm like the only person on the planet who has ever said something of that sort. And I'm like, if you don't learn how to like talk to and have normal moments with like the majority of the world who may be confused <sighs> about your politics or just never accept it, right? There's going to be a lot of people a on this planet is. yeah, who will, will never just never accept it never believe in it or you know there's a lot of countries too like if you go to southeast asia where um they've had femboys since the dawn of time right <laughs> but i didn't know about that <laughs> oh yeah sleepy is from around there okay yeah yeah yeah. but they a lot of them from my understanding and you can correct me if i'm wrong sleepy like they're they're like okay that's femboys but they they will never like in the philippines or something they'll never say like you are biologically a woman they've just got an understanding here of what we go so even like in countries that oh, have here we go this, they still don't have the same degree that would be required by progressive twitter and i like it genuinely makes me wonder if a lot of the online trans community like their only reference of the real world is their little online spheres and they're it's shocked. either that or they're from like their Portland, Seattle, New York City, like socialite circles where it's all like <laughs> very rich people. Yeah, 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 for sure. Ah, yes. Demon Mama, the known Seattle socialite. Yes. Every night I'm dining at five star restaurants with Jeff Bezos. Me and Doe, we go and have a meeting with the local dignitaries. Sometimes I, as you all know, I've live streamed myself going to the Met Gala every year as a socialite. I'm a very rich person. Yes. Or where they, yeah, it's um, it's interesting because I think, and maybe you you can correct me. I think that um, if this oh sorry, uh, the gala, the gala. Yes, exactly. Uh, the gala. And people see this, like, I, I've, I see this all the time, and maybe it's just because I'm watching the media, but, like, people getting, like, $20,000 fines to their business because they used the wrong neo-pronoun for one of their employees, and... <sighs> Please cite one time that has ever happened. See, this is one of the first things. So, by the way, there's going to be multiple times in this where I'm going to stop. And I'm going to point out that Lauren just completely made something up. That has never happened happened there has never once been a time that anyone was fined anything for not using a neo pronoun that was invented now this is something they do all the time they make shit up whole cloth and then they use it to justify bigotry we're gonna see it a lot that is entirely made up and what's very interesting is sometimes they will directly lie about real events and they will lie about what happened so blatantly that you can easily verify otherwise but you know this is why i say that conservatives can't be reasoned with on this topic conservatives they have a ideological reason why they hate trans people and they will never be shifted from that ever for many of them it's literally religious Unless you address the religion, that belief is never going anywhere. That's a huge problem on the right. Anyway, they just love to make shit up because at the end of the day, they don't care about facts. They don't care about truth. They care about their truth. 
Yes, it's literally the Jordan Peterson method. Yes, of course. Doesn't Jordan Peterson reference his own work on that bill as justification for his following work? Yes, he does. And he lied about that bill. It's the Jordan Peterson method. Yes. You know, people just getting bullied off the internet. like Not bullied off the internet, but their careers um, attacked like Destiny. To me, yeah. this is going to be spurring on so much like Backlash. genuine hatred towards trans people. Like when I yeah. look at the swimmer. You're doing it right now. You are the hatred. Yes, you are deciding to be the one that brings the hatred. Incredible. There's that lost in that um, oh, swimming race. So I, can, I can speak to my occupation particularly because it's um, <laughs> pretty deeply tied into issues like this because I work in the defense industry. So. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like, Drone yeah, strikes. So, like, what, yeah. yeah. So like any like. Admin hmm. Ah, uh, yes, I work in the arms industry. Nice! Nice! We got a literal- We got a literal fucking fed on here! Oh my god! We got somebody who's either a fed or an arms manufacturer. Incredible! Just beautiful! Change heavily influences how the culture feels in this industry. Um, both in, like, university and also in the actual working industry. Mm -hmm. Um... And some companies, like if you work at like a smaller, like more research focused area in the defense sector, things are a lot easier and not as bad. But if you work in like, so like the, the common thing is like that the aerospace industry is heavily focused in um, Huntsville, Alabama, which is obviously not the greatest place to be trans. Um, so it's like, there's a little bit on both sides of that where it's like, it's warranted in some circumstances, but when people start going crazy with like, you're not respecting my neo pronouns in the workplace, it's getting kind of mental. Yeah, that's 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 fucking that's like the weirdest thing too, is because like um like I remember like when I came out like I was working at Northrop and it was in Virginia, right? <laughs> oh my god, like two def Northrop Grumman, N Neo Moirai literally worked for fucking Northrop Grumman. Are you for real? Two fucking arms dealers on here. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh. I'm actually building an army. Does everyone here work for military? I I I, 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 I think I think so that it's technically, so technically I don't work students. for a mil well it does military contracts but it mostly does research. So we literally yeah. have research trans nukes guys. It's not even. A I, I, I was base. gonna say I, if I want to get technical, I, I work for Northrop Information Technologies. I don't know. So I, I was. I was, oh, I was, no! I was, I was by the way, do you again one more time? By the way, remember remember when I said that these stupid people are a bunch of young trans women who are going to give out a bunch of personal information in addition to their faces and their names and their voices. Remember? I was doing, I was doing the trainer meme of being a comp sci person. Right, right. Yeah, and I'm, um, hey, there we go. We got our first so, slur yeah, of the day. I, I do like Bazinga. autonomous systems development and research, so not as much in like actually military applications. It's very widely applicable. Um, you got applications like wildfires, search and rescue, a lot of stuff that isn't just military. I told you all this was going to be painful. Someone in Lauren's I chat you. has a best friend who's a trans woman and makes nuclear uh, bombs for a living, apparently. Based. They, they're probably in like four different places because I, I think there's like three different. Yeah, there's three different places that hey, are authorized we... make fog bang. Okay, so obviously, like, there, there's no denying that the trans army on Twitter have all of the mentally ill 14-year-olds in their <laughs> arsenal. Like, there's no denying I don't denying think they're 14, got that. sadly. Bazinga. Yeah, no, Bazinga. they're... But, but here's the thing, like, every single one that's like, oh, L ratio, this is gonna bring down capitalism. Yeah. Like, they're all, they're all like, 35-year-olds pretending to be, like, 12, and it's like, I'm 26 and I'm wearing a Band-Aid on my nose because I have to wear a mask at work and it sucks. Oh my god. Oh, it's not just like, a cute anime thing? <laughs> no, I was gonna say if I wanted to be like really edgy, it's got a black person on it, Lauren. So. Oh no! <gasps> but no. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? No. Oh, so if oh, we could I get needed... all of the trans people with like actual nukes, like your friend there, and all the people that work for Northrop and uh, you know the U.S. military, we're sorted. No matter what what people think, hard power always trumps uh, soft power. <laughs> and if we have the I... hard yeah, Lauren. Lauren's definitely the one to be talking about hard power. Guys, just remember, Lauren has been completely dropped by the vast majority of the right. She has a small group of pick-me hanger-ons, and that's it. Lauren doesn't have 
any hard power. It's hilarious. Power trannies. We are good. We are salt. <laughs> My oh! Army. Damn, that's a definite bazinga. Bazinga. Is we got we can win this war with five trannies. They could have ten thousand. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Bazinga. Wait, guys, sorry to interrupt, but like sleepy, do you know why my stream can't hear me? I don't know why. They're saying do, I'm do you have your mic do you have your microphone turned all the way down? Uh they're saying there's no audio from any of us coming. For check, your, check your check your check wow. your uh, audio sliders on your slots. No, you truly Andrew, are a check, woman. Check what sound check what sound <laughs> device it's going to. That isn't working. Uh uh, Gammy did the racism. No, 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 no. It was not Gammy who did the racism. It was actually Neo Moirai who did the racism. Uh, just, just credit where credit is due. It was Neo Moirai, aka Sleepy. I believe those are the same person, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It was not Gammy in this case. Yeah, there's, there's two type. There's like two types of trannies here. There's the, uh, there's the ones that are technically. Technically apt, and then there's the ones like Gami, who's perpetually nine. Yeah, I'm. They're saying I'm muted. Oh, wait, Bazinga. can you guys hear Lauren? Can you hear Lauren? Wait, and, they. Oh, they can't oh, hear shit. me. What Am the I fuck? gonna get banned? Can I not say? <laughs> can I not say the word? The t is the T word sorry. a slur? Is sorry, is tranny a slur? If it's like in the context of like say like. Conservatives Bazinga. will use like this word in this context. That's one thing, but probably not just saying it. No, it's a slur to some. It's uh, to some. It's not to Twitch. It is. Yeah, you might be a little sweaty there. So yeah, why, it, wait, you why, might, no, might no, be no, in the I destiny, don't... but tomorrow. I don't yeah, understand. We, why we, is we have it a to slur? Be... Well, because like everybody complains about it, but like that was a word that started out being like a word that like we used, and then a bunch of Paul dudes were like, "Hey, this is gonna be like." way to shake people on the internet. It's like, whatever. Dude. Oh my god. That fucking... Ooh, that, that fucking... That understanding of queer history. Do you see what I mean when I say that, like, these are a bunch of young, stupid trans people who literally haven't learned anything about their own history, just blundering into their own self-destruction? Holy shit. But tr you uh, No, it was that the T slur was absolutely not originally invented to use between trans people. No it fucking wasn't. Oh my god. Me just anything is a it's, slur. It's, I can't I can't even keep up with the slurs. And I'm supposed I mean, to be a slur expert. Come by the way, I just want you to know that like Lauren, by the way, Lauren, what Lauren's doing here is taking advantage of these people's social awkwardness. And I'm going to try and be as kind to these f fools as possible, but honestly, I'm going to end up being mean. But let me just tell you, all of these people are clearly very socially awkward, and Lauren is taking advantage of that to get away with calling them the T-slur. And you're going to see where it goes, because I know, I've seen one clip from this panel, I know where it goes. Come on. Here's yeah. I was gonna say like here like the weird part is is that if you don't call somebody it, now. apparently you're doing a slur. Yeah. Oh sorry. I'm gonna, oh, oh, oh look. Uh, hey look. That's that's Gammy yet again making a reference to Doe. Who's Abika? Hello, Abika. The honor spren. I, I can't hear. Hi. Can't hear her. Hi. How's I'm, it going? I'm trying to fix some mic issues. So please bear with me. No worries. Oh, right. oh damn. Oh yeah. I, I meant. Uh, by the way, when I said it, I meant it in terms of uh. The fucking audio balancing here is atrocious. I apologize. It is not my fault. This is Lauren's audio balancing. I am doing my absolute best to keep this under control, but Lauren's audio balancing is trash. The transmission of a car. To so true. So true, Queen. <laughs> okay, my chat is saying we can't say that word without getting nuked from Twitch. It's, it's all right. We're, all right. we're talking about transmission. Just just delete the VOD. Just oh, true. The VOD There's. Yeah, um... I forgot we're... Cars, right, guys? Yeah. This is, yeah, yeah we're... By the way, just so you're all aware, this right here is absolutely reportable. If one of you were to take this clip from the VOD and send this to Twitch, this in and of itself is reportable. Explicitly talking about how you're going to try to avoid getting hit by TOS is itself a TOSable 
uh, offense, just so you all are aware. I'm just saying that if you were to go to the 22.34 mark and report that, that would be, that would, that is indeed in violation of Twitch's TOS. Talk about the trans yeah, we're talking, we're, we're talking about engineering. We're talking about the transmission of vehicles. There we go. Okay. Truly being oppressed by Twitch. I have an all trans buzzing, panel. Buzzing, they can ban me for having an all trans panel. True. Which this is all trans. Someone in chat just said, is Lauren the only woman? I'm a man. I'm legally trans. True. Someone here says, this is absolutely why she got banned. She's trying to use Destiny Clipping as an excuse. Guess what? How convenient that someone such as myself has the receipts, huh? How interesting. How helpful would that be? How helpful? Cool. Gender in Canada. So, yeah, I was gonna like, say, tro good thing, so Good thing we keep track of people so in our spaces. Burns, good fucking thing we keep track of people in our spaces, huh? Yeah? Video. I didn't watch all of it, but he like reacted to your video of you changing your gender. <laughs> I oh shit! If you were to report, you would need the original link to prove that it happened on Twitch. If only we could prove it happened on Twitch's back, like having the source. Oh, what's that? What's that right there? Oh, do we have the source in chat? Oh my god, we have the source in chat. How interesting. The one that Lauren explicitly violated TOS, explicitly used the T-slur to refer to other people, and also it openly admitted to dodging it? Damn, it would be weird if people were to take that link and, you know, do what they should do. Make Twitch a better space. Sorry, there we go. There's the one. There's the real one right there, everybody. That's pretty funny. All right, okay, so, oh, you real one. Is, is, it not, is it not a bit offensive to you that I could change my gender legally in a day and from a doctor just like taking the piss? Why would that be concerning? How does your gender affect anybody else? And also, I would love to see how you did that. Tell me, because I can put it into a document to help trans people. If you were able to find a doctor who got you a name change in one day, by the way, just so you know, I'm being facetious right now. That is literally false. There is no place in which you can have a day of name or gender change anywhere in the United States. There is not a single place. There is no place. Every single state requires you to actually go through a process and usually that process is fucking grueling for those of you who aren't trans and don't know in most states in the united states the process is you need to apply provide a doctor's note that states that you're changing your name and gender then you need to apply to a county clerk the county clerk will have you fill out forms and pay a fee then that will be submitted to a court then a judge will overlook it and depending on the state you may either need to do one of two things depending on the state you may either need to appear in person or you may be required to publish an announcement of your name change in a local newspaper. Yes, that's right. Many states still require trans people as a part of legally changing their name and gender to have to go on their own, contact a local newspaper, and publish their name change in the classifieds. I had to do that myself. I still have the newspaper over there. So what I'm trying to tell you here is that Lauren Southern is lying to your fucking face to make you hate trans people. Let's continue. Uh, I mean, I truly couldn't care less. I, I yeah. can't. so like, I have like a unique scenario where I was born in the only state in the country where you can't change your gender on your birth certificate whatsoever, or your sex on your birth certificate whatsoever. Ever? So, yeah, well, my, no my birth certificate is oh, the same way. I could have, yeah, I could have bought. So watch this, pay close attention. All of these people just said, yes, I can't legally change my gender, which is a bad thing. Just take a listen. On surgery and it does not matter. Tennessee is a shithole state. Oh, God. Are, are you still are living you in Tennessee? Ohio? No, no, I live in Maryland. No. I don't live in yeah, but, <laughs> but it goes, But it goes by birth certificate in year. So, like, if you yeah, were born in specific... The... Also, they're just giving more docs. States. Yeah, it goes by the state slash county you were born in. Does not matter where you live. Yeah, well, so, like... I can change every other document, so I'm perfectly fine. It's just an annoyance. Yeah, like I could get I could get the sex markers changed on my passport and my driver's license, but my birth certificate's always going to have like my birth sex on it. And like Does that I, like I, to what degree does that bother you? 
I mean, I, I think the last time I used my birth certificate was to renew my passport, and that's about it. I don't care. I, yeah, I don't. I, the last time I used it was probably either passport or a job app prior to transitioning. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, reading. Yeah, I, I Lauren bowed. Don't cry when the Pied Piper comes to collect. Excuse <laughs> me. This is a all female uh, chat. <laughs> I'm just having a chat with the gals. Trump 2024 forever. Relax, all right? Relax. <laughs> I told you, they all agree with me. These are all our... Tr uh, I can't say the word! Just just call us transsexuals. That's Am I, is that a slur now? Is that... I, I don't know. It's, some apparently, actually. They don't say it's a slur. They say it's uh, offensive. They say it's a dog whistle for trans meds. <laughs> If you, if you want the most politically correct way that doesn't sound like a mouthful, just say trans folk. Trans folk. I don't like that. It's yeah. too, too, like, PC. I feel like it's, it's too, I know, but, like, it's if you want... It's just really simple. These trans folk I'm with. <laughs> yeah, it's, it trans sounds like... Trans people? It, I don't know. Sounds like you're, like, in Saskatchewan or something. Get ready to, like, go <laughs> harvest wheat. Oh, yeah, all... God, is this not the one of the most concentrated examples of cringe that we've ever watched? Is this not the most cringe thing we've ever seen on this channel? <sighs> yeah, trans folk is condescending, but the, the, the fact that she just called them all our tea slurs. <sighs> Those tr all the folks, we're, we're gonna go and... Okay. Can I can I ask you you uh, some hard questions, everyone sure. on the panel? Ooh, here we go. Sure, the hard right. questions. I, I, I yes. just want to make sure you're all equally canceled for appearing on this, and like it's like mm -hmm. a for sure I I am perpetually canceled. Remember what I said? Should I say it again? Do I need to do it again? Just so that I can ensure you're all equally canceled. Remember what I said? Do you guys remember my tweet? Do you want me to show the tweet again? I'm gonna show the tweet again. I'm showing the tweet again. One more time. We're going to show it multiple times. I really hope all the trans people who joined Lauren Southern's army on Twitch tonight realize that this is a, so a hostage situation. Putting their names, faces, and voices in front of an audience teeming with literal neo-Nazis. You ever break rank from them, they know you now. Be safe. She just admitted to it. Right here. Hard questions, everyone on sure. the panel? Sure, go right ahead. What? I just want to make sure you're all equally canceled for appearing on this, and like it's mm -hmm. like a. I I am perpetually canceled. If you I'm type my name on, on the internet, people say I'm like a Nazi. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like like most a lot of people think that. It, it doesn't matter what I. It doesn't matter what I say. People look at my Twitter bio and they say I should get hit by a car. So I'm the most contra. I'm probably the most like worst reputation, second to Lauren on this panel. Yeah, I, I, I was. Yeah. I was gonna say technically we're all on the list of trans fascists that like oh, some God. weird oh. Doe follower made. <laughs> I'm not yeah, on the list I was because. I I'm it's gone. It's yet, gone full uh, horseshoe. You've gone from the pole. Uh, the the trans fascists on poll to trans leftists and back to trans fascists i suppose i <laughs> uh, sorry avika your mic is very um bad it's, it's very it, it's very poor we need to get you a new mic somehow my friend is this better i'm practically deep throating the mic at this point no yeah, we can tell we can yeah. tell <laughs> okay i'm not i'm not very technologically um Adapt. Maybe Lauren, maybe just turn her up specifically. Just right click her name and you can turn up her audio. Oh, for me, it's like super loud in my. Oh. Like, it's just like bad, low, low quality, but. Um, oh, yeah, you it's, mean it's the quality? Loud. Okay. Yeah. The gain is Okay, so the, the, the question I was going to ask we can start with Gammy, go to Sleepy Striker, and then Avika. What, what position? Here we go. What is your most conservative position? And what would you say conservatives are right about on trans issues? And we can go to, we can do me in the reverse. You guys ready for some cringe? Here we go. Come on, get cozy. It's about to get really cringy. After. Uh, okay, <laughs> I guess this one, I've seen some like idiots from even Vosh. I, I honest to God think like the Vosh community and like him, he's like a grifter because he says shit that like 
for I I believe shit that I've always believed that he said like half a decade ago that now he'll like try to like say is like a fascist dog whistle if you say it cuz I believe it or not think being trans isn't a choice which according to some is like now like a right wing position I've seen a lot of people from like <clears throat> his community I I'm pretty sure I've seen him say that saying to me, you're born trans can be like a dog whistle for not good ideas oh, okay, wait. so I'd say or that like trans Maddie. Let me so let me understand that. I just want to explain that to my audience because that sounds yeah. crazy. Like so many people would think born <laughs> that is. way is like a progressive ideology, but if Not you say anymore. someone yeah, if you say someone is born that way, then that's excluding people who may want to just change their mind one day, right? Yeah. I I don't understand it. I think their idea I I to steal man, I think they think society makes you trans, which but like it's a good thing in that way. I'm I'm I don't really Wow, do you think Gammy has a good grasp on her opponent's views? Yeah, I that that is one of the worst that is one of the worst attempts at steel manning someone's opponent's views I've ever heard. Um they like think that society makes you trans or something. Are you even trying? Are you even fucking trying? But again, remember, this audience is neo-Nazis. They are here to be tokens. Really understand That's it. it. Nothing else. <laughs> they just think it's basically a choice, which is like and what people, we've seen like 20 also, years ago. It's also weird because I think we'd like, even if we had a society that was like fully like gender abolitionist or whatever, I think there's still going to be people that want to like transition medically to change how their body looks. It's it's ridiculous to say that like if we all like are in a society where there's no gender pure Twitter brain or something yep. that we're yep. no longer have trans pure people. Pure Twitter brain. Yep. Hmm. Okay. So Ooh. sleepy, sleepy, your most conservative opinion on this issue or, or not even conservative just like something that your community would be shocked by um well let's see i already got shocked do you notice how do you notice how lauren is specifically trying to get these people to piss off the trans community do you notice that tactic by the way it's very blatant other people who aren't stupid realize what lauren is doing Lauren is attempting to alienate all of these people from any other community except for the right. So they have to keep being tokens or else they will get harassed. Do you, do you see what's happening right now? Talked by saying that neo pronouns aren't a thing. I don't think that you choose to be trans. I don't think that like, I'm, I'm really, I'm actually really hesitant to say that you should do DIY HRT, which is something that a lot of people wait, wait, do, do it yourself me for. hrt you that's like that? you order them off the internet it's like you like there's like, so, like, yeah, like a pharmacy like, in a different country like for, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah like but, but it's 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 that it's a very like big a very thing in the trans community but it's like <laughs> that seems like a very sane opinion to me yeah i mean and in a country like the u.s where we have informed consent i don't see a need to do that especially because the cost of it we do not have informed consent there is almost nowhere in the United States that has informed consent. Only a handful of states have informed consent. Just doing a little bit of fact checks here to these uh, incredibly brilliant trans people who've come on to sell themselves out to Lauren Southern. It's exceedingly it, more than just going to the doctor. Yeah, it's it's more of a thing. It's more of like a more reasonable thing. And like if you're in the UK and you have like a literal like multi-year waiting list just to get seen, not to get like treatment or get past like a like all the most steps it's like to just get seen uh, yes i have heard of that yeah, that is a little a different DIY, but i'll talk about like, that afterwards. hrt be pretty dangerous nope the people I, I, do. no as it turns out diy hrt is super super not dangerous because you can you're just buying it from the same places that pharmacies buy it from wow imagine that pharmacies don't literally make their own medicine they buy it from other people and then sell it to you and you can buy it and it's actually super safe. And those pharmacies operate in all kinds of countries all around the world perfectly fine. Places where the law is not so draconian and anti-trans. Hmm. Hmm. It becomes dangerous when people are locked out of safe materials. We'll say that it's it can be if done. The... I'm not staking out a position because I'm kind of in the middle on this. I used to be a lot more for it, but like I've seen some bad stories from it recently. <laughs> but what I've oh, come, gammy. I think that gammy. Oh, gammy. Oh, 
isn't Gammy wasn't Gammy like openly publicly on DIY HRT? Talk about lifting up the ladder behind you. Talk about fucking lifting the ladder up behind you. Damn, and you didn't even get that high. More like lifting up the step ladder. Fuck. They say that if you do it properly, if you do it like with like get your blood checked, because apparently you can go to like get your blood drawn and have like labs checked, which is something I didn't even know you could do without a doctor's order, because <laughs> that's how I've always had mine done. But they do that, you can do it safely. But like, I don't know, Destiny has debated a few people on this if you guys are interested. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody who's a proponent of it thinks that like you could just send a copy of your lab in. Like, send a copy of your blood in, get your lab results back, and then be able to... That sounded like you were insulting her results? No, no, no. No, I'm sorry. If that was the impression, that is literally not what I was saying. Let me clarify for Gayfesh. That sounded like you were insulting her results? No, I'm insulting the fact that if, if you're starting to pull the ladder up behind you and the only ladder that you climbed was DIY HRT... You've only been, you, you took the one advantage and you immediately sold out trans people. Yeah, no, that was not, I was not literally not referring to, to HRT results. I don't, that's, that's crazy. Sorry. I, I, I understand where some people might've interpreted that, but no, no. Look at that and go, oh yeah, that's what this means. That's what, that's what this means. That with the, that's what this means because it's like within this uh, guided parameter of the W path. But fundamentally, the notion ignores the fact that endocrinologists go to school to be endocrinologists for a reason. Your endocrine system is really, really fucking complex. Oh, so, like the endocrine system is indeed very complex. But as it turns out, most people who are on hormones don't need an endocrinologist anymore. And the reason for that is because, as it turns out, HRT is not that complicated. So most people are able to get H. Okay, I shouldn't say most people. People who are able to get on HRT in like states like Washington, New York, uh, Portland, California, in states that have sort of more modernized trans policies, you can just get HRT from talking to your general practitioner with the advice of a therapist. Like, you don't need to go to an endocrinologist for HRT because HRT is so simple and so low in danger. If you have an adverse reaction, you might then need to go to it to an endocrinologist. But no, actually. Um, and yes, Danny brings up most HRT, which is designed for cis people, which is a lot of HRT, is over the counter supplements. But it's only when it comes to trans people that you must have a million doctors involved. Anyway. Infernatrix says, almost no endocrinologists have actual understanding of trans health. It's not a thing that's generally taught. It's very common for a D DIYer to know more about it than an endocrinologist. Yes, that's because most endocrinologists focus on other aspects of the endocrine system, and very few actually know anything about trans health. It's really silly. Killjoy40k says, seriously, this is Lauren preying on trans zoomers. These people sound like they have never been doxxed or even had their identity stolen. Uh, yeah, that's why I made the little plea that I did at the beginning and also why I made that tweet last night. It's really bad. This is a really, this panel is a disaster for these people. Just by appearing on it, not let alone what they say. It's, it's, yes. people don't realize, like, how wild hormones can be. Um, I, I had hormonal issues for, for ages and it was, like, debilitating. And people don't, yeah, yeah. So, I mean... I mean, are you, are any of you on hormones right now? I guess you would understand. Oh, we're on hormones. I found them for yeah. half a decade. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I work in biotech. I work in biotech, so um, part of the things that I do is uh, deal with uh, endocrine systems and how, like, the cascade effects of a certain hormone, and like how disrupting levels of a single hormone could lead to a lot of issues. And based off of that, I would say that DIY is um, I don't want to say it's dangerous to the point of uh, you should be able to ban everything but it's still very dangerous you should be careful with it yeah. i say it's a last resort like i'm, I'm not it's saying it's a last resort i don't think even, it should be like your taking, first choice even taking the wrong birth control can like really mess someone up yeah hey, and, and relying on the fact that you're getting it from a lab overseas like you're not going to be able to spot like oh my red blood cells are elevated it could just mean like oh your red blood cells are elevated that day or it could mean like hey you're at the risk of a blood clot Red blood cell. I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. And, uh, sorry, I quickly, reason... I, I want to address my chat. I, I have a lot of people in my chat that are like awesome, interesting conversations you're having, and a lot of people that are seething that I'm talking to uh, people from the transistor <laughs> community. Um, Bazinga. I, I'm going to have conversations Bazinga. with a lot of people on this channel, and if you don't enjoy it, that's fine. Unsub. But uh, any, anyone who's actually willing to like have a discussion about these complex issues, I love and I have a lot of uh, space and love in my heart for people like that, even if we disagree on plenty of things. And uh, especially like a lot of you are opposed, I, I assume, opposed to a lot of the more radical transgender politics. And I, I, can, yeah. I can appreciate that. I mean, I get I get called mm. a radical for saying that monogamy is good. So. Ooh, ooh, oh, spicy yeah. take. <laughs> See, I think it's good for most that. people, although I guess there are some people who now say it's best for them, or who does, it doesn't work for them. I mean, I'm, I'm monogamous, and I think I'll always be, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I think Vosh said that, like, all monogamy is... Oh, my um, God. Yeah, basically, Va you're Vosh. being insecure. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so let me let me ask... Sorry, actually, we'll, we'll finish. Do you think Lauren is enjoying this conversation with these lovely transistors as she said I think was the word that Lauren said just a minute ago she called them transistors do you think she's enjoying it she looks like she's enjoying it Sh um, I have a question that I'm totally going to forget so let, remind me of this after we yeah, get go to the most offensive opinions the question is going to be um, your thoughts on a genderless society which a lot of people are advocating <laughs> uh, but we'll go to Striker Striker first remind me about yeah. that question so Striker your most um Offensive My most, issue. Like, offensive issue. slash right wing. For sure. <laughs> right wing um, opinion I'd, on this stuff. I guess probably like Second Amendment stuff. I'd say I'm like decently right wing on, or like not not necessarily very left wing on. Um, especially so like. No, to my knowledge, this is not Eric Stryker. Uh, to my knowledge, Eric Stryker did not uh did not uh uh transition. This is just a person. This is just a woman whose name is is Stryker. Just Stryker, not Eric Stryker. I don't think they're the same person. I live in Maryland, which is a hellhole when it comes to Second Amendment. And Second person who docks themselves. Like being able to conceal carry and stuff. It's basically impossible to get concealed carry. We have a um, magazine capacity of like, I want to say it's seven rounds. I might be These wrong. Idiots. It's pretty low. And These it's fucking also idiots. Because it's not to own in the state, it's a purchase. So if I drive over to West Virginia or Pennsylvania, perfectly fine. Which is what people end up doing if they live closer to West Virginia or Pennsylvania, um, right? So things like that. I, I think that like blue states can get it right in some things, but like magazine capacities don't really do anything. It's just Thank an you. annoyance. Thank so, you. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Yeah. So things like that. Yeah. That's or, strange. Like, we, or like, or we have. Um, I think this one is more agreeable for me. We have a handgun, a uh, handgun qualification license you have to get. Um, and you have to be 21 to get it. You can't get a handgun at, at 18. Um, that one's a little more agreeable to me. But um, but yeah, some of the laws in some of these blue states can be really ridiculous for firearms. Damn, I'm, yeah. I'm glad Lauren is uh, Avika, so interested. I, re I really need you to uh, fix your mic, my friend. I'm sorry. It's it's really hard to hear you um, from the chat as well. Do you have a, a normal mic or what are you using? I was using a blue snowball, but I think I'll just use my uh, native mic. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's... Or maybe you're just like very close to the blue snowball, like <laughs> literally eating it, as you were saying. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. Maybe is this it. better, or is this is this still unacceptable? No, it's, it's, it's a lot better than what it was before. Better, yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. your um, what what opinion would you have that a lot of people in your community? would uh cancel you for by the way i'm i'm literally just collecting this all so i can blackmail you so you won't leave <laughs> the trans army that i'm uh creating What did I say? What did I fucking say? I know that I know my shit, everybody. Once again, let it be known, no matter how many how much my haters screech and cry, I never fucking miss. 
performance based uh i think that religion is actually um, a really good way to build a community and i see a lot of people online just ragging on organized religion no well, i do think it can't be harmful hey, you want me to um... want me to play it back again here let's play it back let's just hop back just a tiny bit here there we go cancel you for by the way i'm i'm literally just collecting this all so i can blackmail you so you won't leave <laughs> the trans army that i'm uh, creating one That's more time uh, would uh, cancel you for. By the way, I'm I'm literally just collecting this all so I can blackmail you so you won't leave <laughs> the trans army that I'm uh, creating. That's based. Uh, I think that religion is That's actually based. Um, a really good way to <laughs> build a community. And I see a lot of people online just ragging on organized religion. You know, while I do think it can be harmful, I think that um, being part of a religion and being part of a religious community can do really good things for um, how you grow as a person. I, I, I mean, I'm Christian, so I agree with that. <laughs> Generally, I think it's a good way to build a community. Although, here's my take. So this is this is my spicy take that I get annoyed with right wingers for, and it is um, from a Christian perspective. I I get really frustrated on the trans issue when people think that disagreeing with transgender politics and um, disagreeing with the notion of being able to change one's sex or gender mean is mutually exclusive with being able to. Um, love trans people in your life and like have have a heart and a friendship um, literally all she had was love the sinner hate the sin that's it all she has is love the sinner hate the sin oh my god B -b 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 bazinga with them i don't i don't see those as mutually exclusive things and i know there'll be christians watching that'll be like but but it's a sin it's like a perversion of of what um of what God intended. Okay, well, like, you know, I guarantee that most people in your life that you love as Christian brothers and sisters or conservative friends or whatever, they're probably having premarital sex, lying, lusting over other people, committing sins that for some reason are just not as highlighted by the Christian community. And I find that really irritating. It's like, you know, I, I reckon that prostitutes do a lot more damage to the family unit and, um, you know, individuals than a trans person does, and yet Jesus, you know, broke bread with prostitutes and had love for them. So, in my opinion, uh, you know, disagreeing with uh, certain political aspects of transgenderism is not mutually exclusive with loving transgender people. And I know there's lots of conservatives that agree with me, and um, I'm Damn, sure that a, lot was milk of, toast. a lot of people in the chat would agree with me as well. But do you notice can, how? Can I just say that? I... Do you notice how? Do you notice how Lauren successfully baited all of these people to say things that they would legitimately be canceled by, and then she said something that is literal bog standard conservative prop or a Christian propaganda? Love the sinner, hate the sin. Love the sinner, hate the sin. Literally just baited these girls to screw themselves over while she sidestepped it. I hate that word well, gay so fesh, much. Well, gay fesh, Lauren Southern is a man, remember. Lauren Southern, he, he explicitly said at the beginning of this that he's a man. So, I'm, I just, I feel like we should respect. What which, word? Which word? <laughs> Transgenderism, because it, it started out as a word that, like, far right wingers, like, made to, like, encapsulate, like, all the insanity that, like, Wait, was people it, on trend was it well, like, a far right word? What, I, I, I mean, it, 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 it's it's kind of been like adopted, but then like, like like everybody in lefty spheres do. They just went like, oh yeah, that's that sounds really based. We should do mm -hmm. that, and then they just become like insanoids. Hmm. Insane. Well, so I can't use nice. that. Okay, so can I use no words now? What? what no, word you can use I... it. No, no you, you can use it. Like, I, it's it's just it's just always amazed me that like, um, it's really weird that a lot of online trans people will be like, oh, like, this is a really bad thing. Like, optically for us, no matter what, it's going to be a loss. So why don't we just adopt this as, a, like, our core positions? Right. Like, the whole, like, like it used to be a meme to be like, hey, you, you can't, like, oh, you're an attack helicopter. And now it's, like, actually, like, people defending, like, yes, you could be an attack helicopter. Well, I've, and yeah, it's, like, I've gotten into, like... No. It's... The attack helicopter joke has always been the same. It has always been used as a bad faith, false equivalency, excuse, whataboutism, thought-terminating cliche. 
The attack helicopter was never trans people making fun of other trans people. It was always invented by conservatives specifically to act on prejudice. It's not an argument. It's a thought terminating cliche. And now you've swallowed it crazy convoluted discussions about that they're like well you know if someone genuinely believes that and lives that out on a day-to-day -day basis you know it's very hard to transition and they're like actually trying to logic it out and i've genuinely had that conversation <laughs> yeah, tra with DMs tra multiple times transition oh, into a helicopter uh, by getting like how spark you plugs out? implanted how in your body without being a, uh, oh, thank you drunken donkey for the sub sorry you just Aviva. mount a couple of missiles and you shoot people well, Maybe the, you go to the, Ukraine, uh, help out the Ukrainian offensive. What they end up saying is like, oh, I'm not literally a deer or literally a bunny or whatever, literally an attack all <laughs> say it's a metaphor for their non-binary experience. Can you but explain it, that like... further? Because like, I, I, I genuinely... Wait, can you explain the thing that I don't agree with you on, that I don't agree with further? <laughs> yes, gender is massively metaphorical. We watched that gender math video yesterday. Remember? Remember the part? where it was like, uh, I can show you a series of images and you will be able to tell me what gender it's supposed to be. And then it switched and did a fake out where it had a bunch of images of leaves and bark and moss. And it was really easy to tell that that was tree. Yeah, as it turns out, gender is something, it's full of metaphor. It is a way that we understand parts of ourself that aren't, uh, that aren't straightforward. So this is what blackpilling does to a person? Yes. What you are witnessing is self-harm. All of these people are engaging in self-harm. Some of them realize it. Some of them don't. Yeah. I, do. I genuinely do find the conversation around transgenderism interesting. Sorry, I know I'm using this triggering word, my friends. Uh, oh, but that's fine. <laughs> like, I genuinely find B issues of people's personal identity fascinating. Making fun of her own panel members for using, being like, sorry, I used the wrong term, transition. And I don't understand people who, who aren't curious because everyone has identity issues, whether it be uh, your place in a, in a community, your, your social role, definitely gender. I think everyone goes through questions about their gender, certainly during puberty, certainly when, when you're like just figuring out romance and, and, and dating and the, everyone has questions about their gender and it's their role in society so I, I do find it like a fascinating conversation and I, a lot of the extremes that the progressive left have taken it to i find like ooh, that's a fun hypothetical to talk to but then they actually are like no nah, we're making this real so explain that further when you say when they identify as a deer or something because some people do this they are not saying it literally, but still want people to act as though it's literal. Go ahead. So <laughs> my my understanding. Mm. So and the reason the reason I don't consider people that are xenogender um, trans isn't because I don't think it's like a trans identity or something. I um I just don't think it's like encapsulated by what we consider gender. Hmm. So my my understanding. But that's that's your personal line, isn't it? You see yourself as a woman. And what does a woman mean to you? Long hair? Looks like you've got long hair. Looks like you're wearing women's clothing as sold by women's stores. Looks like you're engaging in just as much of a construct as anybody else. Why is yours valid, but theirs isn't? Why is your uh, rebellious, quote-unquote, gender identity any more valid than somebody who calls themselves dear gender? Still want to find the dear gender people. ...of gender, and what I define gender as is... Um, basically existing on a spectrum between masculinity and femininity or mm -hmm. like a, so or binary. Like a relation or negation to it. So people will say they're like agender or something. They don't have any connection to any conception of femininity or masculinity, or they're somewhere in the middle or they, um, or they're gender fluid and they move between different parts on that spectrum. So but that sounds like I you're have... still saying that gender is a binary. Like it's just two yeah. things or between uh, the two things. Well, <laughs> well that's the um, definition of a spectrum. Yeah, it's, there, it's, there's, two, there's two extremes and you can exist in the middle, right? So oh, like, this is like a trinary, which is just like a pyramid. Or you can like, like Regular Reg says, I like the critique of the idiots on the right a lot more than the internal lefty drama. Me too. This is fun. I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time watching a bunch of dumb right-wingers self-destruct. Just in opposition to either side of the spectrum. Yeah. But it's I guess, kind of like a negative. 
So I have problem... I forgot to say something for my conservative. <laughs> oh, you're cutting out, okay. Gammy. We're losing you. Oh, no. Gammy. Big... Gammy, you're no, no, no. <laughs> Big Sorry. transistor is cutting your internet right now. <laughs> Can you hear me better now? No, not very well. Not Bazinga. really. Bazinga. Somebody who identifies as an EMP is standing outside your house or something. <laughs> <laughs> damn oh damn neo moirai with the literal attack helicopter joke damn so funny can we get a laugh <laughs> wow they identify as an emp neo moirai you're so funny i can't believe you <laughs> came up with the idea that somebody could identify as an emp <laughs> i never heard of that Oh, oh, it's so good. Can we get a, can we get a joker? I need to get a laugh track on here. Oh my God. I need, I need a laugh track. Can we get that? <laughs> oh my God. Can we get it? Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh, no, I got these scars. Well, I'm the joker, baby. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up, guys. Straight up. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks, Eric Cam, for the sub. Oh my god. That would be really fun. That would be really fun if I take like, your back actually and start talking now. Shape shift when we wanted to identify as things and just like. Yeah, that's that's the weird thing. There's like potions in Harry Potter that do that. But if you mention that, I'm, I'm sure that like you'll also get canceled. Yeah, I mean, again. I think your thing is fine now. Yeah. But um, what I was saying is that the problem I have is that like these um like Xenogen people that say they um they like have a metaphorical connection to non-binary that isn't existing on femininity and masculinity i just don't see that attached to gender so why does she keep why does she keep spraying herself does anybody know does anybody know why lauren keeps spraying herself in the middle of a stream is that like perfume i've never seen somebody just sit there and spray themselves throughout a stream like that that's very weird is it setting spray? No, I, maybe it's perfume. Maybe she's like farting in the room. Isn't a gender identity to me. It could be like an identity. And then if you want to say like you have some deer identity, that's perfectly fine to me. But it just deer, isn't Okay, gender. so yeah, you you like identify with, with deer, which seems crazy to me because it's not, n not very many people, unless you're like Mowgli from a fantasy book, you know, getting raised <laughs> by wolves. Like not many people are actually going to understand the deer experience. It almost seems um, <laughs> like cultural appropriation of something you can never fully like be a part of. Like unless- Bazinga. Unless you have lived the deer experience, the fear of being able to be hunted, the the starvation. <laughs> it's someone that's watched the... too much Princess Mononoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like unless you have lived that like difficult experience of life, you you can't just steal deer oppression. You can't just appropriate <laughs> it. You know. Maybe this I'm is wrong. just the greatest hits of gaming games right now. <laughs> if only I don't think. <laughs> Lord... <laughs> oh my God, these jokes are so funny. <laughs> know what about the deer oh, no, stuff. oh yeah like, i can explain this oh, no. so uh there was um there was a deer girl and gammy uh, made a joke about hunting season so if you want to be as a deer you should be able to hunt like in real life by the way that's my partner they're talking about just so you know that's my partner right now my partner that they're talking about joking about making jokes about killing my partner just so that you're all in the clear just so that we are all in the clear that's my partner that they're joking about and it's not relevant none of them have been fighting with my partner my partner has never done anything to them i don't even think my partner's ever mentioned any of these people ever and yet here they are in front of hundreds of people retelling jokes about killing my partner. But yeah, it's the trans community that's toxic, guys. It's the trans community, everybody. I mean, that would <laughs> logically follow. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and then Dear Girl quote, she, she was like, I don't oh, do God. this often, but this is a death threat. Please report yeah. it. <laughs>
<laughs> and then Destiny quote tweeted that and said, imagine going to the police and showing them pic pictures in your inbox of Bambi and being like, I know you won't believe me, but this is a death threat. Oh my, oh my god. god. And then the best part is that then, um, Gammy changed her Twitter handle to, um, have a deer emoji and, uh, well, I won't say the other part. I'll it was a one on my, I have iPhone and they got rid of the pistol. Yes. When my, yep, that's right. They're, I'm glad they're admitting this. When my partner had a unrelated to internet life suicide attempt, Gammy changed her username to a picture of a deer with a gun. Yeah. Real, real, really. Remember how this entire thing was set up? Guys, just let's recall, this entire panel was set up that the crazy trans people are all against Lauren Southern. And on Lauren Southern's pa pa panel, for no reason, they are boasting about how they personally, after a suicide attempt, change their picture to that person's, to a representation of that person with a gun. Just, just so that we're clear on what's actually unfolding here. And why I really, really, really want Twitch and everyone in these spaces to understand where the real toxicity comes from. Where is the real toxicity coming from? I am not, I don't, if I, I have already sent what reports I think are, are valid and which ones I don't. If you think so, links are present. You all know this is obvious, obviously TOS behavior. But regardless, even if we're, I don't personally care whether these people, uh, whether these people have shit ass opinions, I will make fun of them for having shit ass opinions. Um, what I do care about is, first of all, obviously, uh, the flagrant engaging in actual transphobia, the flagrant toxicity on display, bringing in uninvolved people to talk about and make fun of, make fun of their suicide attempt on a panel in which the premise of the panel is that every other trans person is crazy except for us. Just so that we can, just so we can be clear about all this. Emoji, so it was a water gun on my hand. <laughs> And apparently it wasn't that on people with Android phones. <laughs> on on Twitter in general. Uh, it's apparently, just, uh, haha, water. when I chose the when I chose the gun emoji, haha, I didn't know it would be an actual gun. Ha ha ha. Do you see how spineless these people are? They don't even own it. Even when they're boasting about the hateful acts they engage in, they're so spineless they can't even own it. Pathetic. Gun now. So You're I was. Not to represent firearms. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not to be a pause, Andy. But one more thing. One more thing. Do you guys remember how I opened this thing? Now I haven't seen this part. I actually didn't know that Doe got brought up on this panel. I've seen clips from a separate segment. I never knew that Doe got brought up on this panel. But do you guys remember what I did at the beginning? Do you guys remember me genuinely extending an olive branch out to Gammy, and then? only to get further into the VOD to find out that Gammy is still laughing and gloating about this just blatantly disgusting behavior? Yeah. Kossith says, I never fucking type here, Demon Mama, but oh my god, these people are actually still mentally recovering, re recovering from middle school powerlessness. It's so bad and painful. Yes, it is. It's fucking terrible. But we're gonna keep going, because I want you guys to see. Do you want to know why I want so many people to see this? I want people to see this be specifically because I want people to know exactly what shit everybody else on this platform has to deal with when people like Lauren Southern, when people like Destiny, when people like these little fucking dingleberries who hang off the ass of the conservatives, when these people, ru ru like, Fl flock in these spaces, it makes it horrible for everyone else. It's just like the Nazi server problem, you know? If you have a, or, or the Nazi bar, you have a bar and soon you get one Nazi there. If you let the Nazi stay, then there's more Nazis and the Nazis drive everyone else out because Nazis are hateful fucks who believe, you know, in racial purges. So everybody leaves and all of a sudden the only people left are the Nazis. That's how it happens when you're dealing with people like this. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Let's continue. Let's continue, though. 
shall we? Apparently. I was just shooting a deer with a water gun, just for Too fun. True. Too true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but I- I just want you to notice, by the way, none of these people have any actual interaction with Doe. Not even Gammy. Gammy's- Gammy's only engagement with Doe was Doe saying, Hey, can you report this person who's making death threats at me? Lauren Southern has never engaged with any of these people. And yet, here they are, laughing about the suicide jokes. Definitely not toxic. Definitely not unhinged. Definitely not in violation of TOS. Surely, surely, surely Twitch's TOS has rules that say that you can definitely talk and make fun of. By the way, Doe is a Twitch partner. These people are laughing and joking about another Twitch partner's suicide. Just keep that in mind. I wanted to go back. Can you guys hear me better now, or is it still yes, a robot? It's yeah, it's yeah, you're, okay. you're good now. Okay, well, to go back to my conservative opinion is I think gender and sex are inextricably linked, and I think the community, I think it should only be how I view it is uh -oh. to be trans. Oh, oh no. no. The based take and the uh, EMP well, I think I, wait. identifiers. Yeah, the EMP goes. genders. No. <laughs> the Zynga. The Kenya. I, I feel like this is like house. really going into a based take. I'm, I'm, I'm Jesus. sad. <laughs> can you hear me now? Uh, can yeah, you like, you know what? The other day I tried streaming and it was getting laggy. You know what I did? I hopped in my car and I got an ethernet cable. Gammy, does someone need to get you an ethernet cable? I have I already, a power already... line, but the power line has issues. I can plug in my power line and see if it'll work, which is like an ethernet <laughs> thing. I was, okay, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say, I've, I've already bought that girl like two ethernet cables right now. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, let me see. Okay. You guys can continue on for a minute. I mean, we can hear you now. Just give the base yeah, take before now. somebody like, the grabs you. Oh, <laughs> I think gender and sex are inextricably linked, and that being trans is about wanting to, in some way, shape, or form, change your secondary or primary sexual uh, characteristics. So that could be like your hormones or like your genitals or whatever. But I think for most, it's just wanting to go from one to another. So like from male to female or female to male. Right. Okay. Wait. So. From my understanding, um, primary sexual characteristics is like your gametes, like what you're- Yeah, I believe so. That's gametes, what chromosomes, under. things like that. Yeah, and, and you acknowledge that you can't change that, but secondary sex characteristics is like your physical appearance, your genitals, like this kind of stuff that, that can be to an extent um, changed. Am I understanding that correctly? Uh, I don't know much about like the sex change thing, like we're going for- Gentle. I, oh, no. I'm not sure. Gammy's no. gone. Oh, no. I, gone. I, I, okay, I would say this. I'd bite the bullet. I, I'd bite the bullet on this, and I'd say that it's it's impossible unless if you're intersex and you're, like, one of the, like, 50% of men that are born with, like, Klein filters. You can't, you can't change your sex, but you can change your gender because your sex is linked, by, like, to your biology. It's linked to your gametes. It's linked to your chromosomes. It's linked to Ooh. a thousand different things that are produced in your system, like, daily. But the way that you present as a gender is different. So, like, your secondary sex characteristics, long hair, makeup. Thank you, Marnie. Oh, so I appreciate the secondary no, no. sex is your, yeah. like, outward. Okay, okay. Like, like apparent. Sense. Secondary sex characteristics are, like, tits, body hair, stuff like that. Primary sex characteristics are uh, your genitals, stuff like that. Now, it's really funny here because... Um, of course, this is a completely incoherent approach. Um, the idea that uh, that that sex is completely um, immalleable is ridiculous. Like, like that's ridiculous. Well, you can't rewrite the chromosomes in your body. Sex is only started by chromosomes. That's it. It's just started by chromosomes. Your body develops sex characteristics from the hormones that your body produces. If you take other hormones, your body changes. While chromosomes never change, nobody cares about what your chromosomes are. Most people who live their full lives as women, as females, have never had a genetic test. Ah, thank you so much for the $5 YouTube dono. Deeply appreciate that. Thank you. Do you understand what I'm saying? No one knows what their fucking sex is based on chromosomes. No one cares. We don't use it. No one uses it. 
the only time it's ever relevant is in very niche situations with your doctor. If you have a, a potentially genetic illness, if you were born intersex, if you have a particular genetic illness that is associated with sex chromosomes, that's the only time in your life it will ever become relevant. Most women, most females lived and died without ever knowing if they were quote unquote actually female. The standards that Lauren uses I bet Lauren hasn't even had a chromosomal test. Wouldn't it be shocking if Lauren went and found out that, uh-oh, you've got a little bit of chromosomal weirdness. Hmm, how strange. Anyway, let's continue. This, like, this like makes basic, sense to me. Yeah, like, basically, if you could go out and be like, um, like, I, I, I think of it like a set theory. So it's like, <laughs> it, it's like all filled in as like a set. So if you can go out and somebody goes like, oh, like, excuse me, ma'am, and they're not, like, you're not, like, in, like, a super woke town of, like, Portland or something where they just go, like, oh, sorry, ma'am, and, like, you have, like, a full-ass beard or something. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like... Ha ha ha, Neo Moirai is so funny. Ha <laughs> ha. That's just raw transphobia, by the way. At that point, like, you, you sufficiently meet the criteria. Yeah. No, I, I agree with all this. Sorry, someone in my chat just said the funniest shit ever. <laughs> what, uh, what was it? Idea, um, I, Ideal Emmy says, Lauren decided that if she was going to take L's on Twitter, she'd take four trans girls down with her. <laughs> oh, that's okay, because... <laughs> Buzzing, 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 buzzing. One more time. Oh, so they just they just can't keep it in. I ideal Emmy says Lauren decided that if she was gonna take L's on Twitter, she'd take four trans girls down with her. Oh, that's okay because <laughs> I mean we're we're probably the ones that take that probably we're we're the Lauren. bad ones. We're the bad ones that are called the pick me's by everybody else. <laughs> Oh, the pick already was triggered on uh, Well, well, Bingo. look at that. You got picked, so. <laughs> <laughs> I will never find Lauren wants to kill me. Lauren wants us to kill me. That's what she did. No, I, oh, yeah. you know what? No, it's I've true. I've accepted none of none of the shit you say online. None of your like pronouns or anything mean that you're a woman. The fact that uh, Gammy and uh, Avika can't figure out how technology works truly, oh, no. truly is <laughs> where I'm like, okay, you know what? This transgender stuff Bazinga. might really Bazinga. have some stuff behind Bazinga. it. We need to do more studies into this because, <laughs> damn, well, woman sleepy, moments. I have a more I have a more personal definition of gender and sex than what you have. <laughs> Sex we'll talk about that afterwards, mother, Safira. Gender is what I'm wearing when I go to have sex with her. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, Striker. The DGG in you. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Okay, so what do we think of the people who advocate? And I think Vosh is one of these people um, that advocate for like a genderless society. To me, that seems like it makes no sense. Like, we, we necessarily have groups to define them for certain reasons, whether it be, um, you know, for, for medical reasons, for just when you're talking to someone and they ask you, is that a boy or a girl? And they want to kind of imagine what they're going to look like or an idea of what they look like in their head. Um, like we, we use these words uh, as a way to navigate the world. Um, Not effectively. What do you think of like this genderless? We don't, we don't, man and woman are like the most ineffective terms you could ever use to, to navigate the world. They don't tell us anything. If you ask, if I was to ask every person in this audience what they thought to find a man and what they thought to find a woman, people would come up with ex totally different descriptions. Man and woman are incredibly broad concepts that aren't useful at all. We barely use them at all. They're like barely used outside of dating where people have general preferences. And even there, 
all that does is eliminate things down by 50%. Dudes who like women are going to reject plenty of women. Women who like men are going to reject plenty of men because they don't meet their personal criteria. Literally just, what are you talking about? Society idea that some propose. I think it's I would... impossible. Okay. Because uh, I think gender is an inextricable part of your identity. Like, even if you grow up in a vacuum, you're still going to have an idea of who you want to be, what you want to look like. And if you try to remove that aspect, you're going to have you're gonna run into troubles with people's identities. Like, their very core, like, intrinsic beliefs of who they are. So this argument is that no matter what type of world you live in, you will always have preferences. But what if you lived in a world where your preference wasn't randomly assigned to gender? Yes, we re no one has ever once argued. No person has ever argued that, that people don't have an intrinsic sense of self. Obviously, people have an intrinsic sense of self. What we're arguing about is why that should be tied to this vague concept of gender, which is then tied to sex, which is then tied to christian views of gender roles all of those things are linked and we're challenging that by saying yes people have their own uh intrinsic self-identity and we shouldn't lock it up into the most inconceivable gender concepts that you can possibly imagine why is it that people are bullied for being too masculine when they're when they're supposed like when they identify as women it, it's it's nonsense it's literal nonsense so what do you mean no one has ever contested the idea that people don't have an identity but if you grew up in a society where man and woman weren't a thing how you talk about that identity would be different and how other people treated you based on your identity would be different what if there was a society? What if let's do a little thought experiment? Can you imagine a society in which your your gender identity was tied to your height? If you were tall, you would be considered a man, and if you were short, you would be considered a woman. The idea of men and women's clothes, if they were tied to height, would be utterly different than our own. The idea who would be considered a man or a woman would be completely different. And by the way, that's not even a radical idea. People in our current society tie height to gender. Yes, of course. This is an excellent image. This is a fantastic image. Thank you. Dress, how to quit being a wimp and dress manly like the good old days. Here, let's hide this real quick. We got nail polish, Ur of Chaldeans, 3200 BCE. Men men in Ur of, Chal of the Chaldeans loved their nail polish. Lace collar and cuffs, Henry II de Lorraine, a king no less. Ah, puffed sleeves, King Gustav II Adolf, 1594 through 1632, beautiful. Medieval suspension method, 15th century, thick legs, smells very nice. Th silk stockings and hose, King Charles the, the Ninth, uh, 1550 through 1574. High heels, King Louis the 14th, 1643 through 1715. Ballet dance, dance masters of Renaissance is Italy. Astolfo, legendary male paladin of the 9th century. Pink costume, 18th century France. Skirt, King Henry VIII, 1491 through 1547. Men, get with the times. Men these days with their big trucks, their big overcompensating trucks. That's not a real man. Let's continue. Right. Right. That's what I, that's kind of what I feel too. Is that, like I, I take a bit of offense to the idea that <laughs> you know, whether I'm not I'm not a man so i can't or i mean legally you are oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh lauren don't misgender yourself oh lauren come on I guess I'll speak for everyone, but I, I feel like i wouldn't want this part of me erased uh, to an extent it, it's kind of seems like the people who say erased? oh well we'll just not see race and some people are like well erased 
gender abolitionism is not about deleting the word. It's not about stealing gender. Gender abolitionism is about letting you be how you want to be without policing you for your gender. If you want to call yourself a woman and be traditionally feminine, whatever that means, you're allowed to do that. You just can't impose it legally on other people. You know, like actually like race is a part of who I am. Like my background is a part of me. And maybe it's not all just about my skin color and it's about like my culture and heritage, but like the these aspects of me. Well culture and heritage are separate from race. Do you see the little sneaky thing she's doing there? Lumping together culture and race? That's sneaky, but she does this all the time. This is where Lauren's old talking points sneak out. There's racial essentialism in what she's saying right now. She's saying that your culture is a product of your race. Well, they're not primary. They they are still a part of me. And and gender, I, I think, definitely has a lot more of effect on your world and perception and how you interact with reality than race even in a lot of cases certainly on a uh, biological level the the differences between women and men are, are huge but i i mean even all of you like transitioning to women obviously your concept of gender would have a large influence on you and you probably correct me if i'm wrong you probably wouldn't want the idea of woman being erased when you enjoy <laughs> living in a reality where you know the idea of woman isn't erased no one wants to erase the idea of woman. The, the gender abolitionism is acknowledging that everyone has their own definition of what woman is. So there is no single conception of woman. There are many. Gender abolitionism says we shouldn't make these things rigid. People should be allowed to identify how they please. If they, if they feel strongly about being a woman, they should be able to seize that term for themselves because the term is so broad and vague. These people are so disingenuous. You can express yourself in that way. Or be perceived as a woman, yeah. I kind of, my issue establishes people and every fucking one we talk to has a different you're, you're definition. Roboting. Yeah, yeah. Gammy. Gammy, you're, you're, you're turning we into a robot. Go, we got a Bambi you. You're gonna <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and give my tick while she's figuring her shit out. But, um. What? What does that even mean? What does that. What's that supposed to mean? Can somebody explain that joke to me? What's that supposed to mean? Bambi's mom died, not Bambi. Did she mean old yeller? Is that what she meant? What the fuck? Basically, I, I mostly agree. I think it's technically possible we could reach some like gender abolitionist society, but I think it's like one, it would, um, society would like have to be modified and would look so completely different to what it currently looks like. It would like, it, it would be some like so future, like so futuristic, so. Yeah, it was a deer execution joke. Yeah, but it was a bad one. That's what I'm saying. It was fucking stupid. It didn't even make sense. Born to us society, it would feel like uh, like a caveman being put into Star Trek. I feel, uh, and then also it like it, this isn't something happening in any of our lifetimes, even Gammy's lifetime. This is happening like a hundred, two hundred years down the line, bare minimum. I feel if Why? it were to ever happen, which I Why? Why should we wait 200 years until every single person we know is dead so that you can start living honestly and speaking honestly about yourself? What a sad, doomer, black-pilled perspective. All of these people, the reason why they're here, I just want you to recognize the reason why all of these trans women are here, specifically, is because they've given up. They don't see themselves even as women. They don't even have the respect, the spine, to stand up against someone deliberately telling them that she's here to blackmail them as a joke, as she does do exactly what she was joking about. This is, it's so sad. This is what live blackpilling looks like. They do not, they do not even have the self-esteem to stand up to someone literally making Nazi memes about them. I don't think it would because I think society has like too much of an intrinsic tie to gender for it to not exist. 
Well, what I find funny is the like I feel if you were to get to that point, it would ha- it would actually be like people who are very like monk like like extremely that's exactly what i think of too yeah right they're like very controlled and so much of their existence is on the spiritual level and precisely sound judgment says and then another generation comes raised in the current paradigm doomed to not live as they really want to because it's still not the right time to- it's still not the right time and so on and so on into infinity literally liberation now not a thousand years down the line not 200 years down the line not 10 years down the line liberation now you know to the point where yeah that that aspect of like sexual interaction and everything that it's so base compared to the level they're operating on they're like on the seventh dimension and i could not think of people more opposite to monks than the people advocating for a genderless society on twitter like they are on such a base level like angry reactive everything is about your responding to your immediate feelings like there's just no way you would i'm i'm totally lost in this metaphor but okay ever get to a point where these aspects of one's life um, that could certainly be secondary to one's soul are, are not constantly being pointed out every second. And, and, and you know, the tides are going to change at, at one point, And I'm sure a lot of you think about this as well. Like there will be a point where, you know, the, the trans army on Twitter won't always be able to like get someone kicked off of Twitch like destiny. They won't have that ban hammer power. There'll be a swing back. And, um, You are the swing back. You're the one who's trying to make things worse for trans people. How can people be so stupid? How can all of these trans girls here be so stupid as to not hear what she's literally saying? See, that's the thing about Lauren Southern. Lauren Southern isn't actually a good liar. Lauren Southern is just, well, Lauren Southern is just Lauren Southern. Let's put it that way. I, I think there's a um, people don't forget how they were treated when someone else was in power. Is that scary for you? Like, do you, do you think about that? How how people will respond? If- do you think about that? Do you think about how me and my people are going to make your life hell in a couple of years because you're annoying? The other trans people are, are so annoying to us that we're going to put you in the camps, too. Do you know, that's what she's saying. She's saying, aren't you afraid of the swing back that I'm helping happen? That I'm helping make happen? There is a power shift in uh, the, the popular politics. And, that's and a s- turn. <laughs> oh, I mean, in, in like a certain way, it kind of does. Because you have people arguing like, okay, so... Like, is it more valid? Like, should we fight to, like, validate xenogenders over fighting for just people to give HRT? And, like, generally my politics when it comes... Why not both? They are shared struggles. The same right for someone to identify as they please without being harassed and attacked is the right, is the same right that allows you to identify as a woman. You are no more valid than any xenogender. None of us ever will be. Any person who is trans, every person who is trans is saying, I disagree with the idea that gender is essential. I believe I can express myself as I, as I see fit. And, if, and that includes xenogender people. That includes non-binary people, not just binary people. You people, these people here are the ones who draw completely meaningless lines just to cut out others because they're afraid of people like Lauren Southern who say, you're going too far. You're going too far. Back into the closet and back into the closet. Let's continue. It's trans stuff because like trans is not my identity. My my politics when it comes to it is literally like, hey, like, can I not get hate crimed and can I get like some health care? And that's it. Trans is not my identity, she says, as she has a trans flag on her wall. Do you notice how do you notice how hypocritical these people are? This person is sitting here with their stream set up with a giant trans flag in the background and saying trans is not my identity in order specifically to put down other trans people that they don't like. 
Now, I happen to know a little bit about Neo Moirai, and I know that Neo Moirai is a very, very bitter individual that will regularly do whatever she can to, to vent her personal drama on a public platform. She went on another stream once, she went on a huge drama stream once to shit talk someone who is completely unrelated to the drama just because she could get on there. Now, she's done this many times, but still, the, the core hypocrisy the idea that you're here to say, I don't identify as a, 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 you know, trans is not my identity when you have a giant trans flag on your fucking backdrop is so rich. That's, I don't want like weirdo laws or anything like also, that. Also, like, wait a second. Also, hold on a second. Also, remember, trans is not my identity. But the only reason any of these people are on a panel right now is so that Lauren can use them as a part of her trans army. Lauren literally boils you down to your identity worse than any leftist, worse than the most wokest SJW you can imagine. You have been boiled down to nothing but your trans identity. That's all that you're here for. Lauren's expressions show very clearly she doesn't even give a shit what you have to say. She just cares that you're on her side and happen to be trans. She said it multiple times in this video. And I hope you all were paying attention. So, like, you have to, like, respect me as, like, if I decided I was going to be, like, a ghost tomorrow or something. So like that's uh, that's just uh, that's my entire policy. Oh, the third that's the third attack helicopter joke from Neo Moirai. Oh, Neo Moirai, I hope you have such a promising career in comedy in front of you. Oh. Takes of this. The second thing is like the question about like gender, like abolishing gender, being like a gender abolitionist. A lot of the people who make these arguments often point to like people on Twitter, and they'll be like, "Oh my God, you're a turf. That person's a turf." They don't realize that fundamentally the aspect of like um, a the aspect of removing like all gender from society would fundamentally make you like a gender critical society. You'd be relying strictly on sex because you'd still need sex to. What? Removing gender as an essential category would make your society a gender critical society. What? Literally so stupid. To dictate things like uh, medical care, you'd still need sex to dictate different things like clothing. You'd still need sex for a variety of things. Mm, wait, right. wait, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You would need sex for clothing? Is that is that true? Um, a The aspect of removing like Can all gender from society would fundamentally make you like a gender critical society. You'd be relying strictly on sex because you'd still need sex to dictate things like... Uh, medical care, you'd still need sex to dictate different things like clothing, you'd still need sex for a variety of things. Mm. Right. Neo Moirai might be the dumbest transphobe I've ever seen on here. Hey, let me, you know what? Hold on a second, everybody. Give me one second. I'm going to be right back, okay? Hold on a second. I'm going to, we're going to do a little thing here. Arrived, okay, here we go. I have brought a prop. Be prepared. Behold, the fawn. Can everyone hear me? Okay. Look at the difference between us. Okay. Both fawn and I are separate sexes. Okay. Fawn is intersex. I am, to my knowledge, not intersex. I was assigned male at birth and transitioned uh, uh, to a woman over my the course of my 20s. Now, you might notice that even though we are separate sexes we have some clothing that we can both wear if you wouldn't mind fawn would you please grab the other prop on the back of your chair okay this is behold everybody hold on wait hold on i can't move this i have to keep this here so you can hear me behold my sweater bum 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 the sweater fits me, as you can see, nice and cozy, okay? Now, behold, despite the differences in our sex, despite the differences in our gender, 
I will pass the sweater over to Fawn, and as if by magic, the sweater will also fit Fawn. Behold! Oh! How does she do it? How does Demon Mama do it? Our sexes, our genders are different, and yet the sweater still fits. It's almost like your gender and sex literally has nothing to do with your clothing outside of random made up bullshit that some Christians a thousand years ago said. And they've even changed their minds since then. All right, you're all good. You're free. Thank you. Wait, where the hell did that, uh, where the hell did that bong go? All right, never mind. I'll have some after. All right, everybody, let us return. Come on, we got to get through the rest of this. We got to get rid of, through the rest of this stupid shit. We got to get through Neo Moirai not understanding the difference between body shape. Does Neo Moirai think that all women can wear all women's clothing? That, like, there's only one size for women? There's only one style that women can wear, and if they try to wear clothing for the other person, it just kicks it off your body? It just, like, shoots it off your fucking body? Apparently. Dude, Neo Moira is so fucking dumb. Right. I think it was the core tens of Actually, oh my god. I didn't think I was going to say this, but I unironically, I think Neo Moira might be stupider than Gammy. Like I think Gammy is probably more toxic. But uh but yeah. Let's continue. It's um gender abolitionism. So the the um just eradicating every aspect of gender in a society. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you gotta have armor proficiency you need to have female armor proficiency or else you can't put on a shirt that that fits you if you have uh, xy chromosomes it will just have an x when you look at it with your eyes there'll be an x over it like in a video game these fucking idiots little person's um, dream and yeah, it's something they always talk about how like oh it's okay or, like why, why do we need to make like kids or boys transition they can just wear dresses if they want Although it ends up working on practice that like pretty much that anyone that's like gender critical or a turf on Twitter wouldn't actually be okay with uh, like someone having their little boy wearing a dress or going to school in a dress and stuff like that. Well, this is, this say, is... oh, sorry, go Avika. Yeah, I want to say that that's because they're transphobic and not because they're gender critical because a real gender critical person would be okay with that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So this is something that I've always struggled with, I'll be honest. Like, when I when I look at um, mm. the arguments about... the Okay, so we've separated sex and gender, right? So that, you know, we can acknowledge that people have a biological sex, but then people's gender roles can be different. But then people want to take the biological word, so like woman and man were typically used to describe someone's bio biology. No... Woman and man refer to all kinds of things throughout history. Woman and man have been used to refer to who gets to be in charge of the household's finances. Do you, wait a minute, do you guys think in the, hold on a second, this is a great question for Neo Moirai and, and Lauren Southern. Do you guys think that in the 70s, um, it was your biology that determined whether or not you would be allowed to open a checking account in the United States? Yeah, I, guess, I bet you guys didn't know that. That it wasn't until the 70s that women could hold, in America, could hold their own checking account. Do you think that had to do with sex? Or do you think that had to do with societal roles being rolled up into the word woman? Hmm. How strange. How curious. Almost like Lauren Southern is a illiterate fool who doesn't know anything about the topics that she's talking about. And is basically just there to do propaganda anti-trans propaganda interesting and they want to apply that to the gender word which is to you know describe someone's role in society whereas we used to have words like feminine and masculine to describe people's roles in society and no, I, I just have never that is not true why, at like... all feminine and masculine has has not described people's roles in society feminine and masculine are more words that have changed completely over over the over the stretch of history it used to be considered a feminine trait to I'm sorry, it used to be considered a masculine trait to fuck men in the ass. In Ger in in, Gre in Greece, you were masculine if you fucked men in the ass. Sorry, but you don't know what you're talking about. Lauren Southern's view on gender is literally incoherent. 
Wolfgar69, you're on fire lately, mama. Keep it up. Wondering if you're still considering Kenshi for a game stream. Your narration and voice would go a long way towards a custom storyline. Ooh. Ooh, good idea. Thank you for the $10, Wolfgar. Let's continue. Like, if I wanted to, like, cut my hair short and, you know, be like a giga chat in my relationship, you know, and just, like, you know, drive a Hummer every day. Hey, Lauren, if you need any advice on how to be a giga chat in your relationship, you can come talk to me. You can apologize for being a, 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 a transphobe and a racist, and then I'll, I'll teach you how to be a giga chad. Yeah, Keffels, good to see you. Hey, Keffels, great to see you. Welcome. We are reviewing this absolute uh, bloodbath of an embarrassment panel. This is one of the cringiest things I've ever witnessed with my own two eyes, and I didn't think I'd be saying this, but there are people stupider than Gammy on this panel. Anyway, it's been very interesting. We just got done listening to Neo Moirai tell us that you need sex. You need to know sex in order to figure out clothing, which is interesting. And inter I don't know if you were here for it, Keffels, but we did a little demonstration that showed that that's not true. Well, she got banned, so yeah, I think she might have goofed. And shoot guns and have a deep voice. Oh, like Keffels, just so you know, just you, you'll have to rewind to see this, but just a few minutes ago, Lauren said, Lauren read off a, a donation from her chat that said, uh, Lauren, Lauren, uh, uh, Lauren decided that if she was going to get owned on Twitter, she would take down four T-slurs with her. And she read that out to the panel, just so you know. So, yeah, Keffels, uh, Lauren knows very well that all she's doing is trying to take down people with you, with her. Yep, it's bad. I'm so happy we have this VOD. What a what a blessing. Why couldn't I just be, you know... I'm oh yeah, oh Keffels, wait. Uh, earlier in this stream, she also makes a joke that... Uh, Kef oh my god, Keffels, Lauren makes a joke earlier in the stream that the only reason she held this stream was so that she could get blackmail material on on uh, multiple trans people and uh, so that they, if they ever... If they stopped being on her team, she could go back and get them. Um, she could blackmail them. And that was right after she got them to talk about their most cancelable opinions from other trans people. So specifically, she made them say what things that would make trans people mad uh, of their opinions. And multiple of them gave away personal information about their lives. Absolutely. Literally. Do you remember? Hold on. I, I'm going to read it again. We're going to do it one more time because I fucking... I'm just saying my tweet was... Is the correct tweet. My tweet about this is the correct take on this. Are you are you ready? Here. This is the tweet that I made fucking last night before we even watched this. I really hope all the trans people who joined Lauren Southern's army on Twitch realized that it was a hostage situation. They put their names, faces, and voices in front of an audience teeming with neo-Nazis. If you ever break rank from them, they know you now. Please be safe. Also, at the beginning of this stream, I did a, uh, a, a, a plea to Gammy. I said, Gammy, you do not realize what you're doing. I do not like you. You have done nothing uh, but make fun of people that I care about and make fun of their suicide. Also, she did that on this panel, I will note. But I reached out and said, Gammy, you don't know what you did. Please protect yourself. But literally, Lauren makes them say these things, tricks them into saying it, and then jokes about how she did it to blackmail them multiple times. Just so we know. Just so we fucking know how... Fucking sniper fucking perfect aim I have. Never fucking miss. Let's go. Masculine woman. Like, would that not describe my role in society perfectly? Woman may be my biology, but masculine is like my, my gender relation with the world. Um, yeah. so... Right. The way I say this, I trans... <laughs> the, de the dead silence! <laughs> Just like... I'm sorry, what did you say? Regular regs. Wait, you are being charitable in the tweet, but you are also very angry at them on the stream. Maybe they aren't as smart as they should be to get on that stream. Am I the only one who thinks compassion might be the route here? Uh, yes and no. Keep in mind that these are people who have take uh, who I, this isn't the first time i've tried to to make peace with any of these people multiple of these people have gone out of their way to mock 
to literally mock me and my partner about about a about a fucking suicide attempt that had nothing to do with online life. So yes, I'm sharing about as much compassion as I can muster, which I think is more than any of these people deserve. I think I'm being very kind by just calling them stupid and advising them to get their shit on lock um, as soon as possible. I think I'm doing them more than enough of a favor, but yes. Gammy is like 14, Gammy is like 19. Gammy is a literally young. Yes, yeah, she is. Go uh, if Gammy doesn't fucking make some changes, Gammy's life is fucked. People want to be perceived a certain way. I don't know. Is she really that young? Awesome. Yes. Yes. Look, she's a she's a kid. I know. This is why the worst thing I do is call these people stupid transphobes, which they are being stupid transphobes. Because the truth is. Gammy, Gammy literally just made multiple jokes on this panel, mocking my partner, who has never fucking done anything against Gammy, making fun of her suicide attempt. <sighs> Let's continue. The entire trans experience, but it is the case in mine. And part of my, the, my thing is that I want to be received as a woman. And I can do that by transitioning medically. But I can also do that by just cross-dressing, you know? So, like, for you, it's... And, and I don't mind. Like, I'm I'm very open to uh, whatever y'all want to talk about. You know, I'm, I'm very... Happy interested. birthday, Keffels. Happy this birthday. Is, this is a safe space, just not my chat. They'll abuse the shit out of everyone, including me. <laughs> but, uh... So like you, you don't just want to transition your gender role in society, then. Like, there is a desire to transition your, your sex as well. Uh, yeah, there is. Right. Yeah, at, at the very least, like, secondary sex character is sex. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, we can't see or perceive our, like, gametes, so it's not, like, something we, like, I've ever thought about. I mean, it would be great if there was a way to. That would be amazing, but all I care about is, like, secondary sex characteristics. I'm gonna give a hot take here, but just so you guys, just so everyone knows, I, why do I keep saying that? <laughs> Even if conservatives had a way even if it was invented that you could zap your chromosomes to the opposite chromosomes conservatives would still say you're not a real woman because that's not the way god made you you use the science of man it none of that matters none of the perfect none of the technology matters none of the medicine matters they have a ideological reason for why they don't think you're valid Huh. Okay, so that that's interesting because is is long hair a sex characteristic, right? Or is that no. a cultural gender characteristic? Ah, interesting. I, I I would say like in general, like you can't take one aspect. You have to take everything in like a group. So it, it's like looking at three and going like, okay, so like what's three? It's well, it's three ones, and then it's an odd number, and all and like all this stuff. You. You can still kind of do that, but like generally, when you think um, secondary sex characteristics, Oof. you normally think like um, feminine. Uh, you think um, a little. You think uh, slightly more submissive a little bit. You think uh, long hair. You think generally the way that they dress is like. Literally, none of these have to do with your sex. They are literally right now demonstrating that gender is a social construct. Live, they just literally can't think hard enough to put two and two together. Slightly different, although um, I'm wearing a hockey t-shirt and for you, Lauren, um, like there's a wide different ways of there's a wide different things of secondary sex characteristics that you do that you can present with. You don't need to have ha like all of them, but so long as you have like uh, a few of them, like if you have a few of them, you would still fall into that category of like whatever that. Oh, thank sex goodness. All I need is a few, all I need is a few secondary sex characteristics and then it will no longer be legal for anybody to be transphobic to be. Thank goodness. Damn, wouldn't it suck if there were all kinds of things put in the way uh, to prevent people from being able to get HRT? Wouldn't it be fucking terrible if somebody on the, 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 the runner of this panel was actively against providing people with the medicine that they need to transition? Oh shit, wouldn't it also suck if nobody could agree on what 
uh, secondary sex characteristics are required for you to be considered a woman? Wouldn't that suck? Oh, wait, that's the world that we live in. A world in which, very clearly, gender is a social construct. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so, but to, to me, like, some of the sex characteristics, like, okay, so I, I can see some sex characteristics on a visual level being, um, like, smoother skin, you know, skinnier waist. People do, like, waist training and then, uh, like, st stuff like, like that, which is, is, to an extent, connected to people's Good night, biology. Rex. But still, Wait. a lot... Oh, go ahead. I just thought of a perfect one based off of your old photo that you shared with us. So, like, oh, no. secondary, <laughs> second, sec secondary sex characteristics would be, like, okay, so you look at Davy Havoc and you just go, like, oh, that's an extremely feminine, like, dude, like, holy shit. But, like, you throw tets in an ass on him, and then you start going, like, okay, so, like, these lines are starting to blur. Do you, do you see what I mean? Like, the, the way that you present to society. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there are things that you look at and, and you would think based on yeah. um, the, the shape think, like, oh, and this and that, that, oh, mm -hmm. your, your gametes may be different. You might actually be biologically the other sex. Yeah, but, secondary. But, yeah. That's that's but the thing that, know. like, um... Wait, Lauren literally turned it around. Oh, my... This is so sad. Lauren literally reversed it and said, Oh, yeah, you can always tell when a trans, when a trans woman is trans. Holy shit. Look, look, wait, let's listen to that back. She switches what Neo Moirai is saying to the more transphobic position. Listen. Society. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there are things that you look at and, and you would think based on yeah. um, the, the shape think like, oh, and this and that, that, oh, mm -hmm. your, your gametes may be different. You might actually be biologically the other sex. Do you see? Lauren literally took what Neo Moirai said, turned it transphobic, and then said it back to her. Holy fuck. Yeah, right, secondary. Right. Yeah. That's that's the thing that like um, a lot it. of trans Twitter hates is that like um whenever you bring up the fact that like you change your secondary sex characteristics because you're trying to change them to match like the sex that are on the like the sex that you're transitioning to. But by and large, like due to the fact that trans people are like zero point zero zero two percent of the United States, they make up like uh, hypotheticals a lot that are like, okay, so like uh, That is like the lowest number I've ever heard. 0.6% is what I'm seeing from Wikipedia. Studies from several nations, including the U.S., conducted at varying time periods have produced a statistical range of 1.2 to 6.8% of, uh, uh, of the adult population identifying as LGBT. For trans, it's 0.6%. So she's way off. She just literally massively downplayed her own like her own statistics god these people are so dumb why would you just wait make up a number like that uh would somebody like prefer to sleep with like gami or would somebody prefer to sleep with buck angel because like they have this certain genital preference and it's like well they would prefer to sleep with neither because one has the primary sex characteristics that they're into the other one has the secondary sex characteristics that they're into huh mm. Interesting. so like yeah that's the the other thing the whole weird notion of like you should rethink being a lesbian that and like just like people with penises or something is dating i, I mean I, this kind of seems like a no-brainer but is dating difficult for you all um i have a pretty good stable boyfriend mm -hmm. so does gami yeah, I, I can you guys hear me yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear. okay uh not i'm probably in the minority on this at least i think uh, most or all of us might be exceptions to this but i've always been the one like for the most part who's been sought after <laughs> so it's never really been a challenge but like i'm in like a basically like two and a half year like long-term stable relationship and so yeah <laughs> uh, i'm pretty happy lauren could you repeat the question again i didn't quite catch oh, i was it, asking if, if dating is difficult because like when i think of, I, I always think about um and you know, I'd probably ask you this. There, there was that argument where it's like, do you have to declare 
whether you're trans or not oh, on, on like Tinder, mm -hmm. if you're about to go on a date with someone. And it, it's my opinion that if you are going to do anything sexual with someone, you should have to declare that. Um, but I'm, I'm curious like what that experience is like. I declare transgenderism. Yes, that's me. I am one of them. I do declare from from your yeah. side. Well, okay. So I'm also so, I'm also somewhat unique in this. Um, so, yes, oh Kevl's got the ratio uh, so on Tim Pool. My boyfriend through DGG. Oh God. <laughs> oh no! This is like the fourth DGG drop in this conversation. Oh no! You're gonna tell the jazz story. Oh god. But, um, we, we didn't start dating like through DGG. We were talking on like Discord DMs and he came. He, it's not like just a purely online relationship. He came to here for a few months. So it's it's like more serious than just like someone online dating. But um, I've also had Twitter hookups as well. I mean, Twitter not Twitter, hookups. Tinder. Jesus. Jesus. No. Oh god. I'm not that. Bazinga. Bazinga. <laughs> no, I Tinder, was very uh, afraid I've Tinder for you hookups. for a minute. I know. I've had Tinder hookups. No, it's like, so my philosophy on it is I do not put trans. Why is she, her face is now soaking? You can literally see right here how wet her upper lip is. What the fuck? Why? In my Tinder bio, because I do not want to attract the wrong type of people. But I always say like <laughs> within like the first two or three DMs, depending like where the, where the, where the, whenever it fits in the conversation. But um, I've never really had any issues. Like there will be people that just like say, like, "Well, I'm not interested," and then I just move on. Cause like I'm not gonna have sex. I'm not gonna force someone to have sex with me or like try to push someone to have sex with me. That like Kosseth says maybe it's hot in there. No, Kosseth, we just watched Lauren Southern spray her face six times with an unknown bottle. Wh what? Is liable to like be really weird or something like that. It's just not worth it. I'd rather just like engage with someone that cares. Do you think there are trans people who, while they have uh, like gender dysphoria as one aspect of their life, um, want to live in a more monogamous, like non-leftist world? Do you think there are people like that? Or do you think that progressivism- A monogamous non-leftist, what? It's so weird how they tie monogamy to, to right wing, like, you know that most lefties are still monogamous, right? Like, yeah, there are, like, a lot of trans people are poly for a number of reasons, but, like, like, most lefties are still monogamous. Like, wh what is this weird, it's so weird. And, uh, kind of non-monogamy are inherently linked to transgenderism to an extent, just based on the community, the... Uh, the realities ah. of it. Oh, it's transphobia. I get it. I get it. Non-monogamy is linked to the LGBT community. I get it. They're making an old, dated, homophobic reference. You know? Like, gay people have lots of sex all the time and don't have stable relations. That's like an old homophobic thing. Yeah. I got it. All right. I pieced it all together. They're like, what What do you think of that? I would, I would say yeah. that's like... I'm a bit confused. Like a, in like the online experience, um, if you like, if you talk to trans people in real life, or like see trans people in real life, they're like just pretty much normal people. It's like in these online spaces that cultivate this type of person. I feel. Yeah, it's it's an extremely like Twitter centric thing to be like, oh yeah, like I've like um, a lot of a lot of trans women on like Twitter talk like uh like dudes in locker rooms, but they're always like, <laughs> yeah, I've got like. Damn. Damn. Whew! Some just raw transphobia there from Neo Moirai again. I've got like 10 girls that like I met on Tinder and they're all like coming over today or whatever. And it's like, okay, that's cool. Like I have a boyfriend. Like I just want to make him happy and like eventually like one day Good maybe get married. Like that. Good for you. That's great for you. Why are you telling us about your relationship? You're doing the exact same thing. You saying, I just want to make my boyfriend happy and marry him someday is just as much as just as much imposing your relationship type on anyone else than anybody else. You're doing the same thing. You just don't like it because it's not the way you do it. Also. No bitches. That's it.
so it's, like there's a definite separation between like and i think that's what makes like us to like notorious transsexuals on the internet because it's just oh, kind of like yeah. yeah we have partners that we're happy with and we don't really care about like everything else i feel like i'm in a mixture of two worlds because um i'm both part of the not the whole monogamy is uh not as kind of overrated crowd and also the part of the you know i really love my girlfriend i just want to spend the rest of my life with her because i met my girlfriend through a bdsm club and we did the whole you know do whatever the hell you want but now it's like i kind of i kind of just want to propose to her and marry so i don't know where i stand on this Yes, Lauren is listening very closely. Can I Lauren is listening very closely to the opinions of these trans people she definitely cares about. I don't think that Lauren has directly responded to anything anyone has said. She's just followed up with more leading questions. I asked, does she know that you feel this way, Avika? Does she know that you like want to go like this way? Oh yeah, we're very open. Um, I was talking to her yesterday about it, and she seemed pretty... Um positive towards it i'm not i'm not sure though hmm. Hmm. okay this is lauren the... what, what what was your first thought when you heard bdsm my brain chat wants just, to know my, my brain just felt oh, no. <laughs> the wholesome side of my brain was like Ooh. oops oh my gosh gammy the, the oh, transistors <laughs> got him <laughs> gammy just disappeared in the back rooms well, this is what you get for uh, me denying your existence. <laughs> That's what, okay. This is the thing that always Bazinga. Me, when people say, you know, if if you disagree with um, transgender ideology, you are denying someone's existence. I, I don't get that. Like, I, can someone explain that idea? Like, how are you denying someone's existence by disagreeing with them on a, uh, the political question of whether transgenderism is legitimate or not? people exist as trans people and you're saying that they as trans people are not legitimate that is indeed denying someone's existence it's saying i think you're lying about who you are and that you shouldn't be able to exist freely because you're bad it's a very it's a very very clear thing like very straightforward um if you think your existence is predicated on whether society accepts you, then um, you would say that you're kind of erasing someone's existence, and I think that's false. I don't think your identity should be predicated on society. Okay. Mm. I, I think that's hey. where, um, I think that's actually where a lot of this cancellation comes from, where people feel the need to eliminate any disagreement with um, their gender identity. I think it comes Percocet from a hitting. insecurity about their own gender identity that, you know, they've found this kind of space online where everything is affirmation. And I was talking about this with Stardust last night. Like, everything is affirmation. Okay, hold on a second. No, no, we're just going to keep going. Fuck it. There was one point where you'll have... Uh, this happens with, like, incel groups sometimes, too, where they'll... Firstly, they'll put a lot of hate towards themselves. They'll be like, I hate myself. I hate that I'm ugly. Or people will be like, I hate that I'm trans. I hate that I look like this. And then they'll find like an extreme affirmation group and it'll go outward towards other people instead. Within the group, they'll all be like, you're perfect, queen. You're perfect. I love you. You can do no wrong. You could literally like dox and murder someone who disagrees with you. And I still love you, queen. Yes. And then they just put all of that hatred that they were putting towards themselves towards other people. So it's no longer going towards themselves. And, and you see that. What? Did Lauren just like, like Lauren just invented a person right there. Just like, just literally just off the cuff invented a person. In the form of like, you know, I've seen guys go like full incel one day to full like, I'm giga chad kill all women. Like the next day, it's all women's fault. The next huh? day, this happens in every circle, every circle. Wait, what? Group. And I think there's a lot of- What, what are they talking about? Wait, so when she made that weird face and I said, is the Percocet hitting, was she actually having a stroke? This is like actually incoherent. Um, internal pain there. 
Uh, do you think I'm wrong? Um, I don't think you're wrong, but I also want to go off of the other hand of that and say that if, um, like a lot of the hate that is that you fester over your lifetime is due to the fact that you are not accepted. And I think there's a line to be run between we shouldn't uh, let society dictate the way we think. And also we should uh, try and change society so people like me are happier. Okay. I, I agree Does with the, um, yeah, like uh, that, that's kind of what I'm pointing to is like the letting society dictate so much of how you feel to yourself. You feel the only way to protect yourself from society is to make sure any disagreement with your own self understanding is eliminated because, oh, thank you to whoever just donated the gift subs. Appreciate you, Andre. Um, yeah. So like anyone who has questions, even if it's just like around this trans sports stuff like Destiny, that has to be eliminated because of, of such a fragile understanding of self. No, it's because Destiny is wrong. It's because Destiny is lying and spreading misinformation that people like you use to advance prejudice and discrimination. That's why. That's why websites like Twitch don't want people like Destiny using their platform to spread this shit. People like you to spread this shit. Because the shit that you people advocate for kills people. And you don't care because you want the whole world to be Christian. And if you have a, a strong understanding of your identity, if you have a strong feeling about, okay, this is my gender, I don't really care what other people think about it, whether you're trans or whatever, like if, if you're just like, yep, that's who I am, then you're, you're probably not going to be as worried about uh, eliminating all disagreement. Uh, I want to ask you a question. We have the wonderful argument here that if you care about people actively working to ruin your life, you aren't confident enough. You should just be confident enough to ignore when people say that you should be put into conversion therapy. You should just be confident enough to have to be hate crimed. Come on, everybody. What literal nonsense. Yeah. Do you think that it's um, reasonable that people can be hurt by an old, like, uh, do you think it's reasonable that trans people are hurt by the way society views them today? For sure. I think that, that there are aspects mm. for all people. Uh, in, in okay, sorry. Let me... Um, dodge. That was a dodge. L d do you think that trans people are mistreated right now? Well, I think everybody's mistreated. Dodge. Uh, trans let me make well, this more sure. clear. I'm specifically talking about uh, the United States and Canada. Okay. Do you think trans people will be hurt by the way that society views them today in these areas in the u.s and canada it's interesting that you use those two countries because i think in in large part most people in maybe it depends on the state but certainly where i am in canada most people it's very much like you do you so you'd have to explain to me like oh yeah totally lauren you just had to tell your audience to not call to not attack these people these people who came on your show to agree with you, you had to tell your audience not to attack them because they're on, they're on your side. And you're going to say that you think most people out there are just like, yeah, you do you? Nah, you're actively making people not like that. Maybe be more specific about location, because I'm sure there are places where people aren't thinking you do you and um, are genuinely like pissed off and that you know that obviously would not be a fun experience yeah the trans experience in the united states and canada is vastly different than say like the trans experience in like saudi arabia yeah hey, i don't want to talk about those regions because i i don't live there and i've never lived there i've only ever lived ah, in india yes what a grand what an absolutely perfect example yes let's compare the difference between trans people in saudi arabia a religious monarchy and fucking America. Oh my god. And the United States, so... Okay, well, where... okay, so, so even in India then, you, you, India? you would recognize that there's a difference between like how like Haraji are treated and like bio and like women who are born biologically with like sex gametes. Mm -hmm. Like there's, there's a clear class divide there, not just specifically because of the class system that arised in India, but because... Huh? 
of the prosecution of the fact that there's an ancient culture that's went around and basically said, hey, yeah. we're like essentially performing every single role as that a woman would and dressing as such. Yeah, that's right. You just gave an example of a society that does not have a binary gender system. In India, there is a gender trinary, and there has been for a very long time. And guess what? Even in India, that third gender is d despicably discriminated against. That's what she's referring to, in case you didn't know. But we're also going to be like, hey, um, we're not quite women. No, what I'm trying to get at here is I don't think it's particularly um, absurd that a significant number of trans people would view the world this way. That, you know, I, the entire world is out to wrong. I don't, I don't think it's absurd at all that trans people, um, you know, feel the world is perhaps, you know, against them and they're fighting back on that. There are I don't think it's wrong that trans people feel like the world is against them, but they're just crazy. A lot of Watch. people feel that way about the world, for sure. Especially what did I say? Yeah, I get it. I get why they feel the world's against them, but lots of people feel that way. That doesn't mean you're actually sane. I literally sniped it. Especially when, when they see a lot of people who disagree with them. But I don't think it's absurd either for, for the people who disagree with kind of transgender ideology to have a lot of the questions that they have. You know, these are difficult questions. I'm asking a lot of things that I don't understand. Um, and I think certainly, you know, the, the idea of, especially when it's being pushed as you can change your biology and people want to have, okay, like you I am can change your biology, different you biology. can objectively change your biology. It's actually incredibly easy to change your biology. As it turns out, all you have to do is take HRT and it massively changes your biology. Wow. Who would have thought humans being organic creatures do not have a solid biology. That's a thing you made up to refer to your stupid baby, uh, uneducated uh, uh, understanding of what gender supposedly is. That your idea of what biology supposedly is. You, your definition of biology is, uh, God said there's man and woman, and that means biology is XX and XY. When every single person who knows anything about biology recognizes that humans are the most messy fucking biological ma machines that you can imagine. There is nothing objective about our biology. Nothing. Humans are clones of clones of clones. We're, we're, not clones, that's the wrong word. We are, uh, we are weird telephone games of other of, of 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 hundreds of different lineages of humans there is no platonic ideal human there never has been humans change and will change and always have and always will changing your biology is something we do every single day as a part of our existence in fact our biology is so powerful because it can change humans are so adaptable that's what makes us strong and I want to be treated that way uh, like there are a lot of people that are just never going to accept that like for me like I'll, I'll just be straight up like I don't I don't believe you can you can change your biology I don't believe you can become a, a man can become a woman or a woman can become a man and you are objectively incorrect you are objectively incorrect do I understand that um, people can present differently and have different identities within this world and some can be more feminine and more masculine and some people can want to live out their life with the appearance Incoherent. of a, a woman or a man when they may not um fit into those biological categories yeah yeah like i get that and i i have a lot of love for people that are experiencing dysphoria and i don't know what the oh, best yeah? answer to dysphoria is I oh yeah lauren has so much love for people lauren remember remember when lauren joked about her gamer moment do you guys know what her gamer moment was? The, I ratioed her gamer moment, by the way. Her gamer moment was t going to a trans person and telling them, you will never be a real woman. That was her gamer moment that she, refer that she referenced earlier. So yeah, oh yeah, Lauren really cares about people with gender dysphoria. Oh yeah, totally. I pretend I do. I think there's a lot of question and debate over that. And maybe affirmation of dysphoria is the solution. I don't know. Maybe it is, um, you know, therapy to affirm one's uh, you know, original, you know, sex, right? I don't know those answers, but I think um, there it's, I, I would not 
be so upset or angry or accusatory of all the people with questions. And I think that's an issue I have is like all of these people that are genuinely very. Lauren is literally doing the just asking questions. This is she's she's blurring her types of bigotry. I mean, they always do blur. But yeah, I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking questions like, why should I give you basic human rights? Like, why should you be treated with the same respect as everyone else when I think you're a degenerate? I'm just asking questions, guys. Confused, being called transphobic, right? There are transphobic people. There are people that just hate people like you guys. And there are people who are genuinely like, I do not understand this. And I... <laughs> There are people who hate people like you guys. Nice. Nice. What do you mean, you people? I think those are two different groups. Yeah, the, I mean, yeah, the vast I mean, majority of... Oh, I was going to say the vast majority of people that get labeled transphobic are just people that like have no understanding or interaction with trans people overall. Or like never heard of somebody talk about dysphoria or have never heard somebody talk about like various mental things based. It's like if you went and like... If you went and talked to them in good faith, like... When I lived in, like, a, it was, like, a pretty rural area of Pennsylvania. My neighbor was a cop, and, like, he was, like, a really, really conservative dude. And, like, when Oh, I yeah, remember the time when, do you remember the time when, when Lauren Southern and, and uh, Stefan Molyneux had an interview and Lauren Southern dropped the hard fucking R? And then Lauren, and, uh, and Stefan Molyneux made a fucking cringe face? It just went out and he was just oh, like, can we so, like, show that? Wait a minute. We're not on Twitch. We're not on Twitch. We can show this incoming slur. Oh, wait, where's the video? I need the video. Constance, give me the video. Are you a boy or a girl? And it was like, well, by the way, I talk like I sound like a boy, but like the way that like I have boobs and walk around the house, like I'm um, Constance, I look when like I a get girl that clip. To you, so, okay. And like, basically when I started explaining to it, he's like, all right, yeah, like I, I get that now. Like that's completely okay. Um, he, he, like, he was probably the most accepting person that I ever met. Like, half the people that I meet online are, like, extremely exclusionary in their own definitions of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I switched it. Sorry to interrupt, but I switched my mobile hotspot. Am I still, like, having no, issues? You're no, you're fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that makes sense. We have, like, 4G. It, my parents use the Wi-Fi to, like, watch TV because we don't, apparently nobody uses cable anymore. So I have mm -hmm. issues with that, uh, like, in terms of, like, streaming. But... It's moments like these that I unironically feel bad for Gammy. The right wingers are not going to be kind to her. I was going to. Oh, fuck. Oh, I wanted to like ask Lauren, like just a question. What is like you? What is the biology to you? Like what is a bio? Like, oh, God, fuck. I so many tech issues. What? All right, all right, okay, the so male. Like other uh oh. Definition. <laughs> oh no. Like oh, so. What I is, I, all I all I heard was what is biology, but to me biology is your gametes, right? Like. Hello, monster says I met my wife at a BDSM club. Lauren says hmm. Then writes down notes. Yeah, she's literally just gathering blackmail material. Yes, she joked about it. She joked about it. It's very obvious that's what she's doing. This entire stream is permanent blackmail material, that will forever be in the hands of Lauren and her fan base. Like, it, the the reason that sex exists is because of well sex you know what what is your sexual function is it to okay. provide the sperm or the eggs right and you know in my understanding i would say i i get progressives wanting to be like you know that's just your that's just this one biological function that's like we shouldn't make this like the end all be all of how we interpret people's existence in relation to each other in the world and therefore like what a lot of feminists did we need to split the idea of gender and sex and give people more openness to express their their gender in relation to the world in different ways that completely makes sense to me uh you've literally argued against that exact comment that exact concept this entire time you literally are lying. In this entire stream, you have argued that we should tie gender to sex. You're the one, you, like, what are you talking about? Lauren is so blatant, such a blatant liar. Like, she just got done spending an hour making the exact opposite argument than what she's saying here. This is why I say none of it matters. All that these people do, they do as, as demagogues. They are here 
to to fan the flames of their already right wing audience. None of this is honest. Um, but you know, I'm also a bit of a. I, I don't like calling myself a traditionalist because internet traditionalists have absolutely ruined <laughs> that word. But th there is an aspect of me that does enjoy more traditional and conservative things, and the aspect of family I do think is a cornerstone of society. And I think even even you, a lot of you in this call would agree, like family, religion, these things hold hold uh, us together. And um, you know, this is what we call laundering, by the way. See, notice how notice how she didn't actually give them an opportunity to respond. What I'm doing right now is teaching you some some presentation tactics that you should be aware of. She didn't give them a chance to respond. She said, I'm sure you all will agree that it is family and religion that keeps us together. And then she keeps going. This gives the impression that a bunch of trans people are signing off on the idea that it is indeed Christianity and the Christian family that keeps society together. This is laundering. Not That is a fascist talking point sorry it is also a nazi talking point but it is specifically a fascist talking point the idea that religion and the patriarchal family are what keeps society together and the nation on top of that of course which inevitably follows a family obviously comes from they are sex, being used so these, yes these sex roles useful idiots still do play an important part in our life but in a lot of cases i'm i'm very live and let live um you know, there's, there's an, this, I won't lie either. Like for me, for all of you, like, I hope you're happy. I hope you're living your best life. Ah, but I would have. Let's take a small pause to enjoy a wonderful Lauren Southern clip. Incoming slur, everybody. You want to watch a really funny Lauren Southern clip? Remember, Lauren Southern is not racist and definitely not transphobic. She just cares. Okay, everybody. The leader of the. Black whoa, whoa, that's loud. Let's try that again. Black Liberation Coalition was sitting there yelling in the audience, coon, nigger, like loudly at this Ethiopian guy because he disagreed with them. The leader of the Black Liberation Coalition was sitting there yelling in the audience, coon, nigger, like loudly at this Ethiopian guy because he dis. wished a life for you where you never experienced dysphoria at all. I would wish a life for you where you just loved the body you were born in. Oh! She just... But, oh my god, can we hear that again? Mm. Uh, but I would have wished a life for you where you never experienced dysphoria at all. I would wish a life for you where you just loved the body you were born in. Does that make sense? Oh, if there is a, if there is a pill that did that, I would take it. Right, okay. I... Your knees for eugenics. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Wait, what she, wait, I, I know what she's getting uh, to. But um, Gammy had like an argument on Twitter a lot, like months or like a year ago or so. That was basically about um, if we had, if basically if we could discover like a gene like the genetic cause or genetic component that causes um, gender dysphoria. It would be like a moral good to eliminate that, not trans people, but eliminate gender dysphoria from society via right. eugenic policies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like that's to, to me. We should eliminate dysphoria via eugenicist policies. That means aborting trans babies, just so you know. That's what that means. Just, just so you know what that functionally means. What that functionally means is inventing a genetic test that can test for queer people and kill them before they become alive. That is what that is. There is no technology to erase anything in your genes. What they're talking about is inventing a way to eliminate queer people. And of course, it's nonsense, but the fact that this is something they find acceptable is very telling about their worldview. It's absolutely like gender dysphoria is is a horrific thing. I couldn't I couldn't even imagine you know going through. Obviously, I've I've been I've been a human being that's gone through puberty, and that's a confusing enough stage in people's lives. But genuinely feeling out of place in the body you were born that sounds like a horrific experience, and I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. So like to me, if yeah, if it were possible, I I would have hopefully prevented all of you from having gender dysphoria in the first place, right? Um, by 
putting you through conversion therapy is what is that that's that's the part she doesn't say specifically by making you love the body you were born in what lauren is saying is that lauren thinks all of these people here are men that is what lauren is saying just so we can be clear if you listen to the words she's saying i don't think you should have transitioned you should have been able to we should have been able to give you a way to feel good about your male body so you could stay male that's what she's telling them to their face B -b 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 bazinga that gets like six bazingas but clearly that isn't something that that happened now okay so here's another hard question do you think that, uh, so I, I don't, I don't know what degree of surgery or medical intervention you've all had, but clearly, you know, there's been a, you said a level of hormones. A lot of you have done to try to alleviate the gender dysphoria. If, if it were an option when you were first in this phase and there were potential success, not definite, but potential success, would you have considered counseling to alleviate gender dysphoria instead of medically transitioning? Absolutely fucking incredible. Absolutely fucking incredible. For me, I well, I had to go through counseling to get hormones for like two years. Yeah, mine was <laughs> a year and a half. Mine was three years before it was like, yeah, you you have gender dysphoria. So I went, I, I went the full W path mode. I was a lucky case. I so I got my hormone therapy through my university. Um, oh. and I basically, for my first visit to the counseling center or what, or the, like, um, whatever the place I went for, I talked to like an actual, um, therapist there and had like three visits with them and then got on, well, then I had another visit with the doctor getting a hormone panel and then got on hormone therapy. So that took me about a month and a half to get through. Wow. That's quick. Um, okay. So wait, for those of well, you that did do a long amount. Wow. That's quick. No, it isn't. No, that isn't quick. If you go to the doctor with any other medical condition, they will get you meds that day. Have you ever gone for, if you have, have you ever had an infection and gone to the doctor? They don't make you go to a therapist first. They just give you antibiotics once they see that you have an infection. That's how it should be for trans people. Once somebody, once you talk to a doctor about having gender dysphoria, they should give you the medicine to help you with it. It's that fucking simple. What is she talking about? And also, bazinga. that's a bazinga. Because once again, she's fucking negging her guests. Theory, uh, Gammy and Sleepy. Or theory. <laughs> theory, that's a have bad word. Have you been reading word. something, Lauren? <laughs> Are you a communist now? You to, yeah, you that's have to so read true. trans theory before you can transition. So true. Yeah, yeah you have to read... All of Nowadays, you have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, or, or you're not a legitimate leftist or trans person. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry your leg is, 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 is leaking blood and pus, but have you considered just embracing the blessings of Nurgle? Have you considered God made your body to have a gangrenous infection? Have you considered that? Did you try? Did you try loving your body? Oh, it's bad, Sober Flote. It's bad. We just got to the conversion therapy. On Twitter, yeah. uh, Gammy, you... Sleepy, you you both What's did uh, a lot of um, therapy. Was did the therapy have? Was it all like affirmation of no. your gender? You know your your dysphoria, or did they try to say like, uh, are you oh. sure? Oh yeah, well yeah, they don't just like. I mean, I guess if you're an adult, they might do this because I I did this when I was like fifteen or sixteen. I don't know exactly the age, but like they, it's not they don't like. They don't just hand you a letter and be like, here, you can, like, get hormones immediately. It took, like, a long time and effort. It, see, it seems not... like that's, like, not always the case, though. It seems like it's a... Uh-oh! Notice? Wait, look at this. Lauren swooping in. Because, uh-oh, one of the trans panelists has fallen out of line. They're telling the truth, which is that actually getting hormones is pretty fucking hard. So Lauren has to swoop in. Watch. Oh, my God. It's so blatant. It depends on the place you're in. I mean, I know a lot of adults. For, for minors, it's easier for adults. For no, minors, it's for adults. It's a lot easier. Yeah. I know. Yeah, for minors, there's. I'm. 
fairly certain there's no. It's really hard as a minor. It's very, yeah, it's very difficult. And and I was involved and stuff like that. I went to a therapy in like a liberal like area. Like I, I wasn't just like in the needs doing it so like i had more resources than most people who like do it around like 15 or 16 and like it was still a lot of like fighting yeah that that was my case too like even uh like, even starting like talking about it at 17 and then going through with it it wasn't until basically the end of the first year where like the question was like are you sure you're just, like not just like a cross dresser are you sure that you don't have this or this like let's try this medication let's see if this works Okay, that's and I was like, okay, so like, I think that like, and then like, I remember my site coming in and being like, okay, so like, Incoming you have, pivot. like, I, I could tell that you have like gender dysphoria. So like, this is where we're going to go from here. And then like, you do like the two years, like socializing, like everything else. But like, I, everybody's going to say like, oh, Gammy was special because you went to like some place like super liberal. I did that in New York City and it <laughs> sucked. Like, um, imagine just sitting there, like, all day and having some dude being like, are you sure you're, you're just not, like, really, really gay? <laughs> well, no, okay, apparently that's, that, that is a thing to some degree. Mm. Like, I, I read a ton yeah. of studies on this, and there, there, there are a degree of people who do find out that, you know, they were actually just gay or lesbian or whatever. And yeah, I mean, that's... that's pre- that number is about 4% somewhere in the ballpark of 4 to 5% of all people who ever transition. It's an incredibly low number. And guess what? Thanks to HRT being reversible, they usually get off HRT and they're just fine. But, you know, Lauren wouldn't say that to you. Perfectly fine. Like, there's a lot of people will be like, oh, like, talking about, like, detransitioners or something is, like, a bad thing. But, like, me and Gammy know somebody who's detransitioning. They're pretty cool. Like, I don't have anything yeah. against... Oof. But what, what cool. do you mean people mm-hmm. talk about detransitioners like they're a bad thing? Are you talking about the right or the left or, or something? Uh, like that? I, I mean, maybe in general. <laughs> yeah, like, in, in general, the, the right seems to use them as, like, a, see, like, this does, this is not, like, a, this is not the way that we should be approaching it. Whereas the left sort of looks at them and goes, like, all of these people are evil and heinous and, like, they're actually, like, really, really bad. Like, they, they get put, everybody gets put in boxes because it's really weird having an identity that's, like, Oh, yeah, remember when they said that I was one of the insane leftists? Do you guys remember two days ago? Wait, Wednesday. Yeah, it was two days ago. I explicitly had a conversation about detransitioners and being more supportive with people who detransition. Do you guys? And they cited me as one of the crazy lefties. These people are so full of shit, it's unbelievable. Like a political... I was gonna say... I was going to say, I feel like the right uses the D-trans stories. That's like how the left uses the trans stories with, like, sports. They just want to use it for, like, politics. I did. It's what people John. live. Yeah. And like, also, that... I did want to add, I don't have it offhand, but I'm pretty sure, like, I know, I don't know the exact statistics, but I know I a very heard. large... Oh, sorry. Uh, what, or you were going to say, like, the percentage of detransitioners. Yes. I know the exact stats. 93%. So this is based off of the... Um, it, it's even lower than that. Oh, well, well it's... um Yeah, so basically... Um, of all, so when you look at, so basically it's from 2015, so it's not the most recent data. There's another survey being done this year, um, which we'll get more updated numbers on, see what it says. Um, but it's, so of all the reasons for detransitioning, it'll list like not, um, not fitting your gender identity anymore or deciding not to transition anymore or like um, detransition because of workplace or family or, or like economic reasons, things like that. And of the people that detransition purely because they no longer want to transition, it is, I think, 8% of all detransitioners, which is already a low percentage. I can actually find. Remember what I said? How approximately only 5% of people ever detransition, and those who do detransition, most of them detransition because of financial pressures or social pressures, aka their family threatened to kick them out or they couldn't afford their medications. But Lauren will literally just ignore this. Just, just, let's see. Exactly. I want that exact okay, while you're finding that, I want to, up... I want to rage about someone uh, in my chat. Ah, the oh, pivot! Boo. There's the pivot! <laughs> okay, wait. Oh, shit. oh my god. Moving. Yeah, okay, so I found it. Ugh. Um. Okay, so I'll put this in chat too, so everyone can see it. Oh, Lauren, um, <laughs> in your chat, do you want to bring on the person who does the DIY HRT? They're talking shit about <laughs> oh, me. Man. 
Yeah, sure. I but, think um, there's probably yeah. too many people. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm just going to respond to this. Oh, and I'll give you a chance to finish this. Apparently, Chloe yeah, no the room. No problem. I play hot. I did, says, yes, Posada Stone, yes. Said, Lauren is a soft <laughs> transphobe. She doesn't hate people, but she hates its normalization, balance. And then someone said she does slip her ideology in whenever she can. Some people are unable to truly open up and learn. I hate that talk where it's like, just shut up and listen and be taught. Like, yeah. no, like you're, you're oh, suggesting babe. that I don't have anything to add to the conversation and everyone does. Like I could say the same thing to, I could just start ranting about, No, Chloe you know, does not appear as far uh, as I know. You don't understand how transgenderism is an affront to God, to everyone it's in this satanic. conversation. And then, <laughs> you know, um, talk about how they just need to learn to shut up and listen. Like, no, it's a conversation you fucking idiots sorry i, I, the, I like the having Vosh conversations tactic. with people like this like i honestly even if we don't agree i'd rather like talk someone like this and someone will just like agree with everything i say because it's more interesting of course yeah for sure uh so sorry, basically Stryker, yeah, yeah finish up what you're saying so with it so a common thing that like conservative types will bring up is like the, uh like look at all like these specific cases of detransitioning but one thing they don't bring up when they're talking about detransitioners is so based off of this um report which was in 2015 so 8% of the res total respondents reported having detransitioned at some point um most of those who detransitioned only did so temporarily 62% said they were living full time in a gender different from their birth sex still what was at some the point um, after what was the sample so, size for this uh, uh this is tens of thousands this is like i want to say it was like 20,000 uh -oh! i have to find out Holy shit. i just have the screenshot that's a lot. It, that's like a, a lot. If it's survey. twenty thousand, there are very um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, this... I, 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 I'm so sorry. Like, I'm. I don't want to like assume you're lying because I don't like. No, yeah. I just, I, I whenever you people post study, studies, I'm. It. I'm always like, yeah. hmm. I'm gonna have to um, look yeah, at this and see like what. Uh... Survey. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm, just, uh, yeah, I'm finding the link for it, but um. So that's of the total. People oh my that god! It's so slimy. Uh, it's so and then obvious. Then you break it down into why they detransition. So for, I'm just gonna list like some of the ones, and then I'll say the one that's important. So like 36% had detransitioned ever because of pressure from a parent. 33 because transitioning was too hard for them. 31. They, and you could list multiple. The face too much discrimination. Okay, um, wait, wait. Can you actually send me? Can you send me the study link? I can see. I yes, can see the yes. table you're looking at. Um, yes. Pressure um, from an employer, yeah. uh, pressure from fuck, friends. Remember how I said that facts do not matter to these people? You could give them a thousand studies that proved that, that detransitioning was a statistically uh, a, a, a tiny bit of the transition process and that 97% of trans people benefit from transition and they would not care. Because once again, I reiterate, they ideologically disagree with trans people. Yeah, I can see the table um, you're looking at. Got it. Why is it? Why is the link? Oh, yeah, so, someone said Lauren it. isn't able to take criticism without seething. This is the same person. Mm. True. Um, I, it wasn't criticism. True. You were telling me not to talk on my own street. True. Why are you <laughs> like, why are so you on Lauren, my You're screen? so mad. You, okay, got, you got ratioed so link. hard. Yeah, you had to put together a trans top. army. And then you got yourself banned because your trans army stream was so loaded with transphobia that you fucking lost your stream. Roasted! Yes! You can't take it! You can't even dish it! Um, so that's the full study. If you just, like, control F, detransition, you'll get to the point I'm at. Um, and then, so when the one that matters is that 5% said so because they realized that gender transition was not for them. So 5% of 8%. So 0.4% of all trans people in this survey. Here this comes the 20... cope! 15, 2015, 2015, the 2020. Oh, she's reaching. Yet. Ooh, was it 2015? Ooh, was this sample size small? Uh-oh, Lauren's running out of space. Oh, she got herself into a corner. Let's see how she gets out. The 22, yeah, the 22 um, one is being done Is it currently. the complete report or executive summary that you're looking at? Uh, The complete report. Just okay. pull up the complete report, and yeah. it's like 80, 100 pages long. Just control of detransition. That's Gammy's keyboard, Wait, not seriously, Lauren's. it's 80, 100? <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's what it's a map because it goes over a lot of stuff, not just okay. like. Is it by state data. too? They have, that's crazy. This thing. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh oh. Oh my god. 
Uh oh. Lauren, oh, okay, panicking. 15% of yeah. respondents reported that one or more professionals, such as a psychologist, tried to stop them from being transgender. Da, da, da. So I'm trying to find. Oh! What? 20% of the detransitioners reported that a doctor or a therapist tried to stop them from being trans. Uh oh, Lauren, this is looking worse and worse for you. Um, let me see if I can here. find it for you, what page it goes on. Oh, did she say 13%? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm not able to download the thing. Oh, that was Gammy. It's not letting me download it. That's weird. I probably have a copy somewhere. <laughs> my chat are um, telling you all to stop yeah. typing so effing loud. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's, 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 that's Gammy. She uh, plays yeah, well, Genshin that Impact. Could also be me. Sorry, Seriously. you can't stop I'm not playing Genshin keyboard. right now. You can blame a very specific DGG chatter for me making this. <laughs> Who? Uh, wait, wait, no, well, none of you are in DGG, so you probably no. I just wait. Strike or what? Wait, no. What? What? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, Abacus, yeah. Oh, the hey, reason yeah. I have the reason why why my keyboard's so loud. Um, Destiny just sent me an RIP to my channel because I said try me. So <laughs> and you said it again. Oh, oh hey, Stardust is in <laughs> chat. What's up? Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I can't do this. Bazinga! I was not building. Well, it's okay. okay. It's... If you if you delete the vod, you'll. There's like probably Maybe lives it's, live. it's, yeah. it's okay. We're we're talking about vehicles. <laughs> yeah, Remember. I'm not. I'm not sure that one's gonna fly, my friend. <laughs> yeah, the main yeah, point the is, vehicle is that, uh, like, the people that detransition for the reason of like not wanting to transition is an incredibly, incredibly tiny percentage. Uh, what if one of you give me uh, like the the T card? I mean, you have it because you're technically you <laughs> technically changed your gender. Like, like you, you do technically have it. Uh, I think. Neo Moirai again. Neo, I did not expect in watching this that Neo Moirai, aka Sleepy, would be the cringiest. Actually, cringier than Gammy. I didn't know that would be possible. But yeah, isn't it interesting that they were openly talking on their Twitch stream about covering up their Twitch TOS violations? Their blatant Twitch TOS violations? Damn. You guys think this banger... You think you guys think this streamer segment is going to be a fucking banger? I can't wait to put this out as a video. This is going to be so fucking telling. You know, like up on most friends. One would hope. One would hope. We need like a rap collab of Mr. Girl and Lauren can be like Mrs. Uh, Mr. Southern because she's like a boy now. I wonder if I have that ID on me. I, I just might. I'm gonna see if I do. Wait, I was gonna say how how was that how was that how yeah. was the how was the fact that I posted that the only criticism that I ever got was why did you post a picture of her wearing a Jay's hat? Oh, Ew. from here. <laughs> that that was the best they could do because yeah. they know I made a cute. What is it? I'm not a femboy. What is it? Tomboy. You, tomboy? Yeah. You tomboy. Tom, tomboy is a girl who's like masculine. Femboy is like a feminine boy. Right, right. Good night, Windleby. Have a great night. And also, it's because everybody knows that the expos no longer exist. Jesus, I have someone in my DMs arguing furiously with me, being like, Lauren sees you as a man, you know that, right? <laughs> I'm just like ignoring it right now. <laughs> I Did I, I not don't... say, if you agree with me, you are a woman? I tried to... Yeah. This is the person who argued with Destiny about trans sports who's like yelling at me in DMs. <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna say like at the beginning of the stream, she already said she's like, high she at her power level. Well, she <laughs> already said she already said that like we've officially been picked. So haha. -ha. Yeah, exactly. We're the only good ones. Exactly. Every, every every other trans woman is a man except for this <laughs> girl. Oh, fuck, there goes my channel again! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Quick. Said One more time, everybody. No level. sound effects this time. One more time, no sound effects. Well, she already <laughs> said She already said that, like, we've officially been picked, so haha. -ha. Yeah, exactly. We're the only good ones. Exactly. Every, every, every other trans woman is a man, except the this <laughs> call. Oh, fuck, there goes my channel again! Yeah. Oh, no. Unreal. Quick. <laughs>
<laughs> Lauren has no fucking filter. <laughs> Unreal. I- oh, I did Wait, wanna- does, Lauren, oh, does sorry. Samantha still edit for you? Yeah, Sam helps me with editing. Oh, I okay, like Okay, if she does not edit this, like, oh my god. True, she shouldn't. True, I'll tell Sam to, uh, I'll tell Sam. Yeah, I was just, just talking to her. This I time. did want to sure say- every time you say the T- Every time you say the, say the T word, just have her put up a picture of a transmission. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I, I did want to say, like, going back, this isn't really conservative opinion, but have you guys at all seen, well, I know Sleepy has, but how do you guys feel about the thing? People are arguing now that, like- it's bigoted to like like one sex basically like they it's yeah it's, they use under the general preferences discourse and they're like <laughs> there's i saw this video on youtube that was like a compilation of some just like tiktoks which is like not evidence of like a widespread thing but i do notice it like being more like common because like when like half a decade you only see the shit on tumblr or, like that riley not grace roshong riley wouldn't do that the riley dennis i think was their name person who did that riley like, De- i remember ago. riley dennis yeah that was like yeah. way back in like the gamergate days when, yeah when when the ratios were the other way around back when you were in your prime back before you were an aged eggless hag that had been that's been dropped by the right yeah back when you were openly a nazi and you didn't have to pretend to be a centrist damn what a face right there look at that Ooh, gotta love that expression isn't that great oh love that you're missing the old days lauren <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one and, day but, you'll yeah. be on the other side of the ratio. Lefties. They basically yeah, say that wait. if you don't, if you don't like like one sort of like genitals, uh, that you're like a bigot if you don't aren't into yeah. it. It's like so I'm bi, so this doesn't really it never has really applied to me. But I find it really weird for people to like so heavily focus on other people's like general preferences. It it, it feels so. I'm not saying this like in a like they are men in a way or like whatever, but it definitely gives off the same vibes to me as men that try to debate a woman into sleeping with them. It oh yeah, we very- didn't even get to that. She's very angry about the ratio. See, Lauren misses having her her internet power. Remember when Lauren said she has hard power? Lauren doesn't even have soft power. Lauren has no power. All that Lauren can do is sort of pathetically direct harassment campaigns against small accounts. That's all she can do anymore. She doesn't have any power anymore. Her time has come and gone. She will never be great again. It will never happen. And she knows it. But, you know, that doesn't mean they don't go out with a, without a fight hoping they can win the lottery. But remember what happened to Milo? You guys remember when Milo was a superstar? What's Milo Yiannopoulos doing now? You guys remember? Yeah. Yeah. Christian QVC. Very, very weird to me. <laughs> Wait. That's, oh. it's the, it's the it's Wait, the what? So, so like, like the gen, so like trying to debate someone into their genital pref out of their genital preferences feels Selling the fucking same cookies. to me as a man that is trying to debate a woman into having sex with. Them. Oh, oh okay, I, I agree. heard that wrong the first time. So yeah, saying yeah. yeah, you need to like both genders or the other gender. Then I debated otherwise. someone. She will be the next Ann Coulter. No, see, Ann Coulter is actually smarter than Lauren Southern. Ann Coulter is loaded. You want to know why Ann Coulter is loaded? Because Ann Coulter wrote a bunch of books and made a bunch of movies that had that got deals that she gets royalties for. Ann Coulter's loaded and always will be. Lauren won't. Lauren doesn't have fucking book deals. Lauren is a has-been who just got banned off of her last fucking income source. Like a week ago about this on Hopefully Twitch. not into sex. Okay. Uh, no, <laughs> I wouldn't want to have sex with that person. Believe me. <laughs> no offense to her, though. She's a very nice person. Uh, I debated her, and she at the end of the conversation was like, "I think everyone should be bisexual, basically, and like both mm. like yeah. sexes." And, th- and that also f- that also feels weird. The um saying like, "Oh, well, everyone's a little bi," which I mean, well, like, gay maybe it's true in like a philosophical sense, but it feels very very weird to just like deny someone's like. That's that very, yeah, very dismissive of, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's, it almost kind of, it, it reminds me of the fact that, like, there's, like, a, it reminds oh, me, okay, so, like, oh, well, I was gonna say, like, like, tying it into, like, incel stuff, right? Because you and Stardust were talking incels yesterday. Like, there's, like, transmaxing, right? Oh, my so, God. Wait, so, like, what, what, what is transmaxing? 
It's where the uh, boys who are incels take hormones to get, like, laid. Cause they, or they think it'll make them get laid, like, basically. It's it's, I don't know if it's widespread. Oh, welcome it's like to our world. Thing. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, 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 Wait, are you talking about, like, they become girls? Or they become, they, they take hormones, like, to get they, 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 so basically, they, they just want to take him to no, get women. So they, they think that transitioning will make it easier for them to have sex. <laughs> I just to believe that anyone is about our own trans master because, like, the... Yes. If people say, this sounds made up, is this made up? I mean, you can find just about anything on the internet if you look hard enough. But yes, this is essentially made up. This is a shit post. And also, who cares? So a bunch of dudes... So a bunch of dudes on the internet want to become uh, femboys so that they can get more dudes to fuck them. Whatever, who cares? Good, more power to them. Hoops you have to, that you have to go through and the disability will eventually develop if you're not an actual trans woman yeah, or it, trans it, man. So wait, it's, some, it's probably like not like common whatsoever. So wait, okay. So no, these, but oh, wait, I'm trying, so I, I'm trying so hard to understand this. Like they're so they go and they they transition because they think like the idea of finding like a bi like trans girl will be like cuter than being like a creepy <laughs> incel. Yeah. I yeah, think okay, also so part real, of it is they like lesbians a lot. That might be yeah, they want to be like a lesbian. Real quick, Lauren, have you ever heard of Christian Weston Chamber? Oh, oh God. No. No. Okay. I don't have any stuff. wine in the house, all right? We got to chill here. <laughs> no, so, so, I, I, so, like, yeah, I don't know if I can. I, I have wine. I could go pour myself like, some. But... Like there's, there's, an, there's an entire meme of uh, like on TTT or like trans boards and stuff like That's that. That's like, the even 4chan trans. No, Gammy's talking about TTTT. No, we've reached the ultimate level of cringe. The ultimate cringe. And sport is yeah, even, thing. even if you go to like um like CD on like 420 chan, like the the whole idea is that like it's it's literally the meme of like oh like I never had. By the way, Lauren making these faces right now is showing she's like, look at how crazy these fucking trans people are. Look at how crazy they are. She's inviting her audience to laugh. By the way, because this is the part. This is the token part. See, her and all of her anti-trans fans are sitting there and going, look at these degenerates. <laughs> That's what they're doing right now a girlfriend so i become the girlfriend type thing and it's like this weird subculture within it's really cells. gross yeah. yeah although and it's, it's like it's ever common though yeah it's it's not that common but then like that it seems like that same attitude sort of pervade like it's sort of out there where it's like oh well like you're a cis woman that doesn't like penises well like you should still try it yeah, and it's like yeah. it's like yeah. you, you shouldn't the, you should never like debate somebody like their like personal preference for sex the other, the other, that's something that's like so intimate is that um it also feels like okay what you are witnessing right now is people randomly making things up and through word association just blabbering everything they've read on the internet in the last five minutes they've tied together christian weston chandler ttt uh uh trans maxing fem cells in cells and now they're talking about something completely unrelated this is literally just they're just venting their fantasies in their mind at this point question for demon mama and keffels if she's still here was was thinking about writing a program which instantly reposts deleted destiny tweets to omni liberal deletes would such a thing be useful i have a feeling it would be yes sounds interesting sounds like a very interesting project Thank you for the five dollars. Deeply appreciate it. Let's continue. In the same vein, it also feels like a man that tries to tell like a lesbian that they're yes. trying to hook up with like you yeah, haven't yeah, had the right dick right yet. Now. Yeah, it it gives off yeah. the exact same vibe to me as like like you're never gonna debate someone's sexuality into having sex with you. Like just this sorry, you're, you're not going to. And I don't know why you would want to. Of, I keep imagining like debate bros trying to <laughs> debate women into having sex with them now. I mean, I think Vosh and debate Poppy very much. I think he just like forced her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I... so uh remember guys remember uh remember hold on i just want to point out they just made a joke they just made a joke about vosh raping somebody they, they they just a joke i should say they made a joke okay but keep in mind all of these people are mad at keffels because 
Keffels read a chat off that said that Destiny stealthed somebody and then immediately corrected to say that he supported or he he uh, had a bad take on stealthing. Remember how all of the DGG orbit is like, oh, they're wringing their hands and then they go and do this. Nothing that DGG or any of these people say matters even in the slightest. They are just dishonest, spiteful, tribal people. That's it. All they do is fight for their home team. That's it. Let's continue. I was Irish, laddie. Lore. That wasn't Vosh. Oh my I, I don't God. know this lore. What is the lore there? Like, I, so there was ooh, a video I think on, actually his, on Destiny's on Discord. There was a very, very, very mentally... Like, I'm not saying this derogatorily. She, a girl who was, like, pretty mentally ill. He basically, like, sexually harassed for months. And this was when he was Irish laddie, so he used to go by. And Irish laddie, like, basically so used wait, his... So wait, Vosh used to go by the name Irish laddie. On... Yeah, sorry, yeah, I thought you know this is the, Yeah, this was the we reason why he was originally Vosh. banned from the... Destiny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was but... also the reason why he was originally banned from the Destiny community for a long time was because of this. Because it happened in Destiny's Discord. It's like the fifth name drop of the Destiny community. All of these people are Destiny heads. He also denied okay. it for a while. Like, he said it wasn't harassment. Yeah. So wait, it so wasn't he was harassment. trying to debate a woman into having sex with him? Not have I mean, sex, like, but he, like, yeah. harassed her over Discord yeah, DMs like, for yeah. a year. There, there's like a, a, long there's a time. good old video of it that used to be on Destiny's channel. Does now. It's on the Destiny channel. Yes, it's, 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 channel. Still back, it's still back up there. But the other aspect of it wasn't just the sexual harassment. It was he used his clout and, like, the people yeah. around him to try to shut her up afterward. Which there is the a other, rumor like, really disgusting yeah. part supposedly i can't say who told me this but supposedly there was a server with his girlfriend or i guess then girlfriend i don't know if they're still together where she tried to dox poppy <laughs> for like trying to go out but i don't know if this is true that's just like a rumor that honestly I've a lot heard. of that i'm just gonna repeat a rumor without evidence on a on a giant platform nice Ah, you gotta love that DGG consistency. Stuff happens, like even on the right wing, yeah. it's like, oh, I'm gonna do something shitty and then I'm gonna like weaponize my community against you. We're, we're like, I've, a... literally, I've had that happen. It's like, oh, you won't sleep with me? Like, I'm gonna weaponize my community against you. Okay, yeah. trad man, how trad are <laughs> you? <laughs> I, I was gonna it's say, I, are, are you like early, was this 2018 or 2019? I don't it's, know, it was years I, ago. I think, I think it was 2018, it was, it was a while ago. I know that the only reason Vosh ever even got on a call or got even like uh to acknowledge i'm pretty sure at least rem said this was if you guys know who rem like the philosophy person is rem like uh, apparently used to like uh, like spam tweet at vosh until he acknowledged it i'm pretty yeah. sure it was like the lore <laughs> rem was rem was pretty obsessed with this but for like good cause yeah he's cool i like rem i want to jump in here quickly i feel like sorry avika i whenever i speak over you it's because i can barely hear your mic i, I i'm not trying to interrupt you i apologize if uh if no I've i figured I, times. <laughs> oh. oh what i want to like go back to the whole um debating people into you know how as a reminder, Rem allegedly faked his degree and is literally a grifter. I heard about that. I heard that actually that that Rem faked lied about his degree and that if you go and search the school, the the school that he claims to have gone to gone to publishes their graduates on their website and he's not on the list of graduates from the co college he claims to go to. Allegedly. Allegedly, by the way. I read that blog. And yes, I verified it, but I mean, I don't know. It's possible that that's not true and that they just don't publish some people. But it is it is true that the school that he went to doesn't have him on it, uh, doesn't have him listed as a graduate, but he claims to have graduated from it, allegedly. Interesting. Having sex with them. And one, one of the things that I noticed is like one of the motifs of the arguments is that like they're structuring their arguments on like denying access to trans people and i think it's just a really weird way of going around talking about Good night, sex, Rhodes. you know like you're, you're denying access to me. it's like what am i what, what am i denying access to my body so yeah that that's my oh, main so, like, the, with the denying whole, yeah. access that sounds very rapey yeah yeah it is extremely rapey that's my like it's so alien to me that how someone who huh? purports to be like woke and everything can say something so um bad sorry, i got distracted by that um pfp yeah i don't, I don't know what's happening there <laughs> but oh uh, sleepy just had to leave the other room 
Oh, okay. I think. okay. That's her, like, <laughs> away screen, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, let's check out. Let's scary. check out the chat. Let's check out what the chat are talking. Ooh, about. What's the, chat what the chat's talking about? Someone in Ooh. chat, stay positive. Ooh. But is transitioning the only answer? Yeah, this is Jeff. I mean... said trans people are people. They're human. They suffer like anyone else. That's the takeaway. But is transitioning the only answer? That's for that's some. It the might be. I have. I no. think I would just um, say it depends. I think, transition... I think transitioning is the best answer, depending on where you are. Like, if it's safe for you to transition, well, go ahead and transition now. Hmm. Damn. That viewpoint wasn't very popular, was it? I think you should transition if it's safe for you to do so. Dead silence. Guess that didn't land like they wanted, huh? Guess Lauren didn't approve of that one. Uh, Flawless Force said, oh wait, sorry. Um, how many channels have opposing voices? This comes close. She could just have another conservative bash vent and get a large audience. So true. So true. <laughs> That's the, the, it's so saturated, like these communities that only talk to each other, or only are able true. to humanize. Like uh, people, normal conversations Inventing are boring, a person. right? If you can sit yeah. down with someone who disagrees with you and like have lunch and have a good time, that's boring. Like unless it's like a full on like hate fest, lots of people don't want to watch it. So for the 800 people chilling here, we appreciate you. Um, but yeah, like generally in my, in my- 800 viewers, Gammy and Neo Moirai and this striker person and this other person put their face and voice in front of 800 viewers. And in front of 800 viewers, they made fun of my partner's suicide. I hate these people. My normal life. I no hate them so much. No matter what someone's much. background is, I can have like a decent conversation with them, get along with them. Jeez. But when it gets into this weird online world, people are, are it's like they're only talking to caricatures. And I get it. I, you know, I get it. People like like the anime battles. It's fun. It's, <laughs> it's way more entertaining than than normal conversations. But... Um, that's what I'm doing here on Twitch. Plus, I'm the only conservative in a world of leftists in Twitch. Hey, so how am I going to survive just see without TV, my... Yeah. yeah, true, true. <laughs> there, there's a few amongst us, but uh, I'm going to win because I'm building up my <laughs> trans army. I wouldn't argue with nukes. the one back like that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Lauren has the gall to say that, but doesn't realize that I consistently top counterpoints' as, oh. uh, S tier of streamers okay oh, connor, connor points, points is like is a, not a conservative he's a yeah he's like a name only wrong but i'm glad they're keeping up the good cop bad cop routine <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a i mean i think it should be more like actual libertarians so like, i like him yeah li cool. libertarians have a good idea of just like do whatever the hell you want and Sometimes. try to keep me out of it as much as possible it's only when they get like really cringe about it that it's this has been wild. Mm -hmm. hasn't totally. it? Like when you have people that are like um, basically making arguments about how like you should be able to like sell children, it's like fundamentally how's like like how's your argument any different than? Huh? Just like America <laughs> earlier. Oh, the, someone in Lawrence has a really important question. If a trans woman is circumcised, is that female genital mutilation? <laughs> I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess that, then it's illegal suddenly because you're Bazinga. doing it to a woman. As yeah. soon as it's against a woman, it's illegal. Death this is This is truly the way we can get rid of circumcision against men. Because you don't know what they're going to identify as later. So no, you don't yeah. want to go. We have to retroactively send doctors to jail for female yeah. genital mutilation. <laughs> oh my God. So, Lauren, I have a question. What do you think of all of the bills in the U.S. currently going on then? I need to read them. So, like, I saw the Surf's TV Thank you, post a video. The oh, other Jesus day Christ. With, like, uh, all of these kids uh, dancing don't... with flags, and they're like, oh, oh, that. Oh. Please yeah, tell yeah. me. Lance is so dumb. Yeah, please tell me you're not getting He's your news from Lance. <laughs> I, do not, I, do, I do not get my news from Lance. But um, it I sounds saw like a friend he might. Of mine, Nuance Bro retweet it, and he was like, none of this bill doesn't affect any of them. And so I'm like, right. I really need to read this bill because all of the responses that were. The don't say gay bill or perhaps the executive action in Texas that deliberately targets. Unconstitutionally, mind you, just so you know, the Texas, the Texas executive order is currently on a hold on a 
violation of the Constitution where they now have to go to court in order to prove that it's not a violation of the Constitution. This was when Governor Abbott in Texas said that he was going to start deliberately investigating people who are working with their doctors to get their children the necessary medical coverage that they need. Amazing. Saying They were all saying to Lance, like, this bill is not what you think it is. <laughs> Um, the don't say gay bill. So I, I actually planned on doing is I asked Nuance Bro if he could come on a, a stream with me and like read through the bill. So I, I need to do that. I mean, we could do that now, but uh, it's probably going to be like a long, long ass read, right? Yeah, do you the, know, the, do you the, know don't anything about the Texas one? How do you feel about the Texas one? Or no, I, I, I need to sit down and read through oh. it. I'm not going to. Yeah. Uh, how convenient. Yeah. yeah, see, Lauren knows what they are. Lauren knows what they are. She just doesn't care because talking about it would be bad it would look bad for her what she's trying to do right now is build a plausible deniability for her trans army so she can launder her views and her reputation it's very inconvenient to discuss open examples of literal bigotry and prejudice in the law at the state level for her so she'll just pivot away I, I, I was gonna, a bad idea. Well, Texas isn't legislation; it's um, attorney general action labeling it as child abuse without any of the, yeah, just by his decree. Oh, so yeah, someone in the like, chat just said it's only seven pages. Okay, that well, it's still. Oh, it's okay. I, I was gonna say that don't say gay bill. Um, a lot of people are making deal like a big deal out of it about Disney not supporting it, but a lot of people forget that Disney used it as a convenient excuse to like not include gay characters when they distribute movies in China. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Oh, I don't sorry. like Disney. What? what was the Texas um child abuse one? They basically I think it's if you your kid is like under 18 and gets any sort of like transition related therapy, they um you like CPS gets involved and you can be prosecuted. And I also think yeah. they might yeah. be taking the kid from you, but I'm not sure if that's like all So basically this. if yeah. you, it's basically anyone that the way that's supposed to work is it's being labeled as child abuse and anyone that- I would love to see her chat right now. I truly wish I could see what her chat said right now. I bet the entire chat said based when that when they described that. I would be willing to put money that the chat was full of people saying based. AIDS in transition for that child. So doctors, okay. Medical institutions, parents, um, school teachers, guidance counselors, anything like that could be prosecuted. Yeah, there. That's got, that's pretty much. Open. That's that's pretty much the same for the uh, Ohio Safe Bill, which goes a lot further. It gives jail time to doctors and psychologists. Holy shit! It also okay, so it also here, violates. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like this is this is the beginning of. Um... You ask whether the performance of certain medical and chemical procedures on children, several of which have the effect of sterilization, constitute child abuse. You specifically ask. Actually, this looks like a back. This looks like a uh, some DMs between representatives. Um, Wait, what? You state that such procedures typically are performed to transition individuals with gender dysphoria to their desired genders, and you identify the following. So I'm trying to find the actual proposal here. Oh, it, it sounds like it was actually the meeting minutes, like the transcript oh, of. Right. of a Okay, everybody, I'm going to let this roll for a second. I really need to go to the bathroom. I don't think they're going to say anything, but I want to keep going through it. If I miss anything while I'm in the bathroom, tell me. I'll be right back. Testing. Keep watching. Paxton, okay, so it looks like this is specifically to, so far, I, I need to fully read it. Um, sex change procedures and treatments. Yes. Before um, children yeah, so can legally constitute so child abuse. So they're talking about actual medical transition yes, well, yes yeah we're talking about medical transition and i i want to say it goes beyond to therapy as well but let me try puberty and blockers it. would be included under that almost certainly um yes they okay are. so they it's are. it's procedures that can cause physical injury that result in substantial harm to the child procedures and treatments often involve a failure to make a reasonable effort to prevent an action by another person that results in physical injury um procedures that can cause permanent um Changed the child, emotional injury, developmental growth injury, psychological functioning, nature and context, uh, obvious harm of permanently sterilizing a child. These procedures and treatments can cause side effects and harms beyond permanent fertility, including mental health effects, thrombosis, cardiovascular, blah, 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 blah. Um, 
I'm, I'm trying to see if it does say anything about uh, I'm trying to find their original actual thing. therapy because it's it seems like I, it's really focused on just stuff that can potentially lead to sterilization, which seems I, reasonable to me. I was going to say, Lauren, this bill right here is the one that um, I went to a committee to testify before. And basically, my argument was that it seems absolutely asinine to outlaw talking to a psychologist oh. when under the medical age of consent in Ohio. A child who's 14 could go to a methadone clinic. A what? Oh, those. Yeah, a, a child is fully capable of going to an inpatient or outpatient rehab according to the medical age of consent in Ohio, but they want to make it uh, illegal for a child to consult uh, with a gender psychologist. I mean, if or, you know, that... Like, did, did that, that go scary. through? Wolfgar, thank you. Um, right now it's in committee, oh. so I had to... Oh. Like, I went and was like, this is pretty bad. Oh, this, this is like, actually... Oh, wait, is like, this... If you're concerned with the sterilization thing, I think that would be more of a reason to support, like, uh, sperm banking or whatever for the people who need it, rather than just, like, okay, hand-waving it. Oh, Lauren doesn't like that! Away, especially seeing as there's quite a lot of people it's worked for. Okay, so this is the press release oh, um, from Ken Paxton. This is Ken Paxton's press release. A.G. Paxton declares so-called sex change procedures on children and, and prescription of puberty blockers to be child abuse under Texas law. Released a formal attorney general opinion concluding that performing certain sex change op procedures on children and prescribing puberty blockers for them is child abuse under Texas law. The holding uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, mm. Specifically, the opinion concludes that certain procedures done on minors, such as castration, fabrication of penis using tissue, basically like, um, like bottom surgery and the like are all abuse under section blah, blah, blah of the Texas Family Code. Um, there's no doubt these procedures are abuse under Texas law and thus may, must be halted. The Texas Department of Family and Protective Services, so like CPS, has a responsibility to act accordingly. And so basically then he directed um, DFPS to then investigate these. So basically any puberty, so basically puberty blockers, hormone therapy, and any other surgeries they may be getting. But no, no like child at so, for, for me, popped. for me, I'm like, against I'm against children getting these procedures just because I know like as a child I had no effing idea what go. I wanted. And I understand like hormone blockers and puberty blockers obviously make transitioning easier, like significantly easier if you're as especially, you know, female to male or male to female. Um, Thank you, Wolfgar. Like, for Thank me, you very I much, just, Wolfgar. I have very little faith in children to make this, that big decisions about their life. <laughs> like, I just... Yeah, but it's not. Good news. It's not just kids making those decisions. And the Texas law puts everyone who tries to help a child into danger. Not them. It's there's like a therapist, doctor. There's a bunch of people. They don't just walk in and get them like over the counter. Yeah. The part no, no, is particularly yeah, insidious. Go ahead. The part that's particularly insidious is that you're... Um... Banning psychologists and psychiatrists from getting involved in the first place, which is probably like one of the best ways to ascertain whether someone is actually uh, going to be transitioning or not. Yeah, I think and the psychologists like you're trying to silence best. people rather than actually helping people. I don't know if I'd say that. Sorry, quick question, y'all. I cannot get my camera to focus on me. It only wants to focus on the background. Uh, can I have I no clue. The entire camera with your palm. Oh. It's because it's focusing on that guy's face in the background. It doesn't want. It's refusing. It's absolutely. It's, refusing. it's it's not it's not auto focus. No, it is auto focus. It's just like I don't know. I'm being a, oh, attacked then, by my camera. It hates so, me. Yeah, yeah. So then the other aspect of it is that because it's being labeled as child abuse, that means that anyone as a mandatory reporter would be would be required <laughs> to report on it or risk losing their job. So that means. Uh, let me see, where does it say here? So that I just want to point out that literally, at this moment, Lauren is literally waggling her arms to distract from the very inconvenient point that the trans people that she invited onto her show are bringing up that she really doesn't want to talk about. Just, the irony is so funny. I mean, teachers, nurses, doctors, daycare employees, employees of a clinic Jesus. or healthcare facility that provides reproductive services. Juvenile probation officers, which like obviously doesn't matter in this case. Juvenile detention or correctional officers. The the big ones are like teachers and um, like nurses and doctors and it, employees. It, uh, yeah. It seems like it seems like just the enforcement of this, the and the total court costs, the like administrative, like the administration fees, everything about all the like. 
I, I'm, I normally don't bring out the argument of like, oh yeah, small government stuff, but holy shit, that sounds like it's just like extraneous spending. Yeah. It's me. The other, spending. The, the it's big government. With, the biggest problem I have with what's happening in Texas um, isn't that it's like, it, obviously I think it's bad that's happening. Um, the biggest thing is that it's not even being done legislatively. It's literally oh, yeah, it's just, just like, being done by order it's of just the being done general. By the, like the op opinion of the attorney general, which Wait, I think is it's ridiculous. About, it's about children not being getting like permanent medical treatments, right? Yeah, but he's that, the attorney or... general. He's not like a med medical okay, professional, so it's... right? Yeah, I, if it, if it went through if it went through the bill, they had committee hearings where the public showed up. The public were able to discuss different things. They were able to interview different doctors or things like that. It would be different as opposed to okay, so it's like the, one it's person the in the government that, that how it was put through. I mean, that's fair enough. You know, it's like that that was definitely a big problem I had with obviously the Emergencies Act in Canada being used. People were like, "Holy shit, mm. you didn't even go through the proper legislative process for this." Um, that's that's very concerning. So if it's the process that you Somniostatic says they're talking to Lauren Southern like she's just some random person in a random group chat and not that they're streaming with Lauren Southern. Yes, because these are dumb children. With the exception of Stryker, who is a dumb adult. But like Neo Moirai and Gammy are fucking they're like 20. Uh, issues with I'd, I'd definitely be more sympathetic to that than gammy is like know, 19 wording of the bill these people are young as fuck and they're putting themselves in front of 800 um, nazis you know medically it's okay we're almost kids. done lady Hopium. maybe Don't they worry. do need more doctors opinions on that that's Hope you have fine. a good night uh but yeah i i i'm just for me for me like if it's adults i'm like live and let live you have fun you do your no thing, you right? are not you just spent this entire time talking about how you don't support adults right to live and let live but um you I just, just when it comes to kids, so it's like, um, like so we, we kind of talk about it in private a little bit where it's like, like, there's definitely children who have dysphoria, but also like, it's, it's a trope for a reason of people waking up and being like, oh my God, I hate this body that I'm in because they get a sudden like influx of hormones. So yeah. it's like, you, you obviously need to like the first line there would be like psychiatrists and therapy. Yeah. Like, like you, no, I think, I think like as a kid, yeah, definitely start like getting therapy if that if you're going through stuff but um yeah like that's and the, that's the, and then once not, it's not like reached like to medical stuff right yeah like I like once once they've one. sort of like sufficiently done it i feel like you could maybe do some medical you could maybe what, put them on blockers what if we do how lauren wants it and then we find out that there's like a huge uptick in suicide would you like no longer support it if that was the case Sorry, if there was a huge uptick in suicide because of the policy passed. Sure, yeah. If we just, like, banned it, blanket, like, federally, if that happened overnight. And then we saw that because of this. But everything else is well, the there, same. Well, there would obviously have to be some sort of understanding that there was, like, a direct correlation with the bill. Do you know what that, that answer? We'd have to prove that it was a direct correlation. That means, no, I don't care. That's what Lauren just said. No, I don't care. That's what she's really saying. She knows she can't let the mask drop. She knows she can't reveal her power level. So she has to go, oh, yeah. Uh. Not like a social effect from the bill because you wouldn't want to get rid of something that was potentially reducing harm because of bad, you know, correlation and causation. But if you could prove like it was directly correlated to that, yeah. Bad social the, um... effects. Bad social effects are the problems with all of these bills. What are you fucking talking about? The goal is to reduce the amount of kids that are suffering and wanting to kill themselves. And to me, that should take a form in any way, whether that would be, you know, introducing laws that meant like you had to get therapy to try to love the body you were born in, if that helped more people. That is conversion therapy. Lauren is explicitly advocating for conversion therapy. Conversion therapy, which is torture. Conversion therapy is torture. There is no equivocation to be made between that. Do you know what conversion therapy uh, consists of? Conversion therapy consists of, first of all, conversion therapy isn't scientific therapy at all. As in, no psychiatrist or psychologist will agree with you besides like christian psychologists will will agree with the idea that that conversion therapy is therapy therapy doesn't tell you i 
real therapy doesn't tell you what to think or what to conclude. It helps you come to your own conclusions because as it turns out, a therapist can't tell you how the right way to live your life is. They can just help you figure out the best way to live your life. So conversion therapy is by its default, not a honest form of therapy. It is trying to get somebody to think something different, not to help them work out differences. It's to convince them of something. However, there's more than this. The reason why conversion therapy is considered torture is because the only, the, the only ways to do conversion therapy, to convince you to love your body, is to essentially punish you for your thoughts. You don't feel comfortable about your body. You would rather have a, a feminine body. There is nothing wrong or crazy about anything. There is nothing wrong with that. This is why being trans isn't considered a mental illness because there's nothing wrong with wanting your body to be different than it currently is. It can become problematic if you are agonized by it. It can become problematic. But conversion therapy tells you you are wrong for the thoughts and feelings that you have, which is very damaging as it turns out, especially for children. Now, if we look into conversion therapy historically, it gets even worse because keep in mind that most conversion therapy um, programs have, have in, engaged in severe indoctrination, including, by the way, in many cases, electroshock therapy. Did you know that there was a point in time in American history where it was common practice to electrocute the genitals of people who were gay or trans? Did you know that? And it wasn't very long ago. That was what conversion therapy was. You would go, you would be shown gay porn, and you would be electrocuted so that your body learned to not have a good reaction to gay porn. That's conversion therapy. And in case we have all forgotten, this is what Lauren is currently suggesting to a panel of her trans army. Yes, I am about to tell you that disagreement with people like Lauren Southern is not just disagreement. These people are ideologically opposed to the existence of the people I care about most in this world. They are the people that fill my audience, that even fill the audiences of all of these trans women on this panel. All of you queer people, people like Lauren Southern, do not want you to exist. They will lie, cheat, and steal because ultimately, as she has shown here, they don't care if you die. In fact, it's convenient for them if you do. Lauren Southern is an ideological opponent. Not because we chose that, but because her worldview requires us to no longer exist. Her worldview would push us further and further into the margins and make us hurt even more. And that's why we fight back. And hard. People, like I'd like to think everyone would support that. If it's, um, if it is having a certain type of treatment and that reduces suicides and saves kids' life, of course I'm going to support that. But to me, yeah, it's absolutely about helping... Re Danny Fallon brings up a great point. Conversion therapy can literally cause fight or flight responses to the stimulus you were forced to endure. That is to say, it won't make you not gay or trans, but it can cause you to have a traumatic response when you attempt to express yourself. It is torture with the goal of hampering expression. Can you imagine? Some of you in my audience are gay. Can you imagine having a PTSD breakdown every single time you, you started to feel sexual arousal? You see an attractive guy or girl and you start to have PTSD symptoms because when you were a kid, you were screamed at. Maybe you were taught that you were committing a sin. Maybe you were electrocuted. Maybe you were drugged. Maybe your parents 
even let's say none of those things happened and all that happened was that your parents found out you were gay and then they forced you to leave your home and go live in a mental facility by yourself with people you don't know who told you you were wrong for feeling gay. And now because of that PTSD, you can't even have sexual arousal anymore. That is a very common thing. This is why every single serious psychological institution in the entire world, in addition to many, many other people who were saying this before the psychological institutions agreed upon it, by the way, let's not go too far there, huh? Say that conversion therapy is torture because it is torture. Lauren Southern advocates for torture devious chilster says so a uh, trigger warning like i said before in this chat a few times i've dealt with conversion therapy personally one of the trauma responses i used to have was that any time i had any sort of sexual arousal to anything even those of the opposite sex i would literally do anything i could to stop it including physical self-harm that's what conversion therapy does. I'm very, very sorry you had to experience that. It is abuse and it is torture. And I stand against it unequivocally. And I don't care how much hemming and hawing we get from the Gammies and the Neo Moirais and the Lauren Southerns and the destinies of this world. Fuck that. Reduce gender dysphoria in people and helping reduce harm. Do you know of any studies that have studied the self-affirmation the body you're born in that have, like, shown a great very effect few, at reducing very it? Very few people do it. It's, like, borderline illegal in a lot of places, right? It's Why do you think it's borderline illegal, Lauren? Do you think perhaps because it has measurably bad outcomes? Do you think perhaps it's illegal in so many places because it's torturous? You fuck. Yeah, seen as transphobic. Of... Yeah, but are there any? Um, there's there's a few that kind of like go like oh like gender starts manifesting in the like around like age three but generally when it comes to especially like sociological experiments and or like psychological experiments on children like we're relying on data from things that were done in the 70s or 60s because it's now just considered to be extremely bad to do yes. any sort of psychological experiments on children I mean I can't believe that Neo Moirai right now is doing apologia for psychological experiments on children. I don't even think she realizes it. She doesn't realize she's doing it, but she just did apologia for psychological experiments on children. <laughs> you know, like, um, so there, like common sense. What, what I will say is they, they've done research and found that so there's there's two potential answers to this. So they have done research and found children who go on um, puberty blockers are like significantly more likely to not have their gender dysphoria naturally alleviate. So like kids who go through puberty, there's a much higher chance that they'll be like, that is a lie. She is explicitly lying. That is literally she's lying the the people who made that paper explicitly added an addendum to say that is not what their data shows at all literal that is a literal lie no that's not true what what the data actually shows is that of the people who do go on to uh to puberty blockers almost all of them decide later to go on to hrt she literally just lied. That That is absolute propaganda, lying with statistics right there, saying, oh, well, they're not likely to have it naturally alleviated because it doesn't naturally alleviate because they go on puberty blockers and then it doesn't go away. And so they decide to transition because it doesn't go away. Holy fucking shit. That is like the biggest lie that she's done this entire time. Holy fuck. Oh, actually, like, I'm happy with the body I'm in now. And pe they find that, okay, actually, it was just the puberty that was causing them to have these feelings. And then nope, some go on. Nope, that and is not true. This is patently false. Dysphoric. Patently false. The kids that went on puberty blockers were very, very unlikely to have alleviated gender dysphoria, particularly because they said, oh, they didn't go through the puberty process. 
that is literally the opposite of she's she's first of all she didn't cite an actual study but the study that she's referring to says literally the opposite so they never got that um that experience and they say that there's there's two there's two explanations, right? One is that, you know, the, the lack of puberty experience, which puberty is proven to be a turning point in dysphoria, uh, but the lack of... Pu of um... Puberty is a turning point in dysphoria because it's when people start getting gendered. Puberty is a turning point because people find out they have dysphoria. You fucking idiot. You dishonest Nazi clown puberty experience caused them to just continue on with their dysphoria and then the other would say that there is an impact that you know kids who are more likely to go on puberty blockers would be more adamant about their gender identity in the first place but the data that shows um obviously if you actively seek out puberty blockers the chances that you're experiencing dysphoria already are pretty high that is so obvious but she just brushes it away as if it doesn't matter. Puberty is a turning point in dysphoria. I think shows that it may be a bit of both, right? No, you are literally just lying. It puberty is a turning point for the uh, for the appearance of dysphoria because previous to puberty, you don't really have a whole lot of meaningful sex characteristics. Oh my god. Well, yeah, nobody's saying uh, the same thing more for everyone. We're just saying that it should still be an option for those who think it, who like the doctors and therapists to re recognize that it'll help significantly. Uh, I'd say that they're probably still, like, the. here's the thing, and I think a lot of you would probably agree, the data around transgenderism and medical procedures, especially amongst children, is horrendous. It's all bad data on both. That is not true. That is... Uh, again, objectively false. The data is overwhelming. It is not bad data. The data is overwhelming. And it's people like Lauren Southern who make it impossible for more data to be done. Because people like Lauren Southern will literally make studying trans people for the purpose of helping them illegal. They will slam it down. They will call it SJW nonsense. They will harass the people involved both sides like whether you are trying to make an argument to support conservative cause that you know uh, actually um, medically transitioning doesn't help you're still higher suicide rates blah 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 whether you're trying to say it reduces suicide rates it's all really poor data no it is not um, I false mean, just based on the amount of population that are transgender it's self-evidently false Go look at the data yourself and you will discover, no, actually, it is not bad data. It's more recent data. You're not really getting, you know, there are people nervous. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys remember where all, most of the pre, like, the pre-1950s data on trans people went? Oh, right. The Nazis burned it all. They burned the data that we already had that was collected in the early 1900s. They burnt it all. The Nazis did. Looks like, I wonder what Lauren is trying to do right now, huh? Some aspects of it, obviously you can't study these things on children, so it, it's hard to have these conversations because it is just really, uh, uh, admittedly a poor data set that all of us would be using. Nope. Yeah, we're all basically um, still tossing around the same studies from like 1995 to like... Yeah. No, we are not. Only you people do that. Only you conservatives do that. 2015 if um, the data is so bad then why would we just like the hand wave it and want to like make it completely illegal because if that was the case then we couldn't study at all oh my god gammy is the gammy is the most rational one here oh my god gammy is the most rational one here i never thought this would be what the place that we found ourselves in all about well, this it's and not never so much hand-waving as, like, when you've got bad data, you don't really want to use children as the experimentation for how that data is going not. to potentially pan out when it gets better. Uh, maybe. I'm just more... <clears throat> I'm just more thinking about the fact that, like, you on one hand say that we don't have enough data with children, and then on the other hand seem to not want to study it at all. Well, well, no, the, it's, like, one of the main hurdles is that you can't experiment on children. Like, you can't use them no for like, psychological... No one's talking about experimenting on children. We already know a lot about what these drugs do. We would have social data. 
We would have so Gammy's actually right here. We would have social data. That's not experimenting on children. That's that's being able to collect social data because people aren't getting arrested or being forced into the closet where they won't tell the truth. What the fuck? These people are so stupid. Neo Moira is actually like I didn't think this would be the case. Neo Moira is actually like like orders of magnitude stupider than Gammy. Logical experiments. I, I think, think, should I be think able that to there can still. Ethically. I think there Thank can you, still Sparkly be. Void. An, there's still such a large amount of data that we need to collect on adults, like you know, aside from children entirely, that could be done, and hasn't been done. And I think that all of us could agree that more data surrounding how to alleviate dysphoria and how to make the lives of transgender people is a good thing. I'd like to think we can all agree on that. I mean, more data is definitely useful. I was, I mean, it's definitely useful, but I think the conclusion that denying even just psychiatric and psychological care is kind of absurd. Sorry, could you repeat that? I'm trying to really listen. Do you think Sleepy is actually this dumb, or is she just pick me harder than everybody else? Um, in my experience, uh, Sleepy, aka Neo Moirai, is one of like just a very dumb individual. But yeah, so, I don't know. Um, even like with like the um, like we there is a need for more data, but even like with that need, I think it's absurd that you would deny people psych uh, psychological and psychiatric care, which is oh, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying to deny people yeah. psychology care. That I, I so, so, yeah, but so, that's what that's what the text to, Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So, so, doing. To, I don't. To I bring didn't. Some... Sorry, go ahead, Striker. Yeah. So to bring some data into the or like studies into this conversation, but like. We'll just say. Oh no! Oh no! Striker, <laughs> Striker got EMP gendered. Um, I'm about to get bazinga. Trad life gender because I have to go attend to my lambs too. Oh, that I sounds amazing. It. That's so trad of you. Fuck! <laughs> I am a very trans people person. beat women at everything. It's so unfair. Everyone's here's the here's the, here's you're winning in sp bazinga, bazinga. Sports are getting women of the year. Women suck at being women. Here's the thing, like I every time I describe my life, somebody calls me a like somebody is always like, Oh, so you're doing the trad wife kink and it's like no, oh it's just God. called like being a person. <laughs> After this I'm gonna go tend to my garden a little bit, you know, water the plants, so I'll be seeing you people later. Yeah, also. have fun. Have fun, have fun. Thanks do you guys ever on. feel this is like a tangentially, I don't know, I just thought of this, but do you guys ever feel that like as content creators who are like women that you get like unwanted like sexual attention from like fans or people on the internet because even from like haters i've got like some really weird comments that like still like are just like gross yeah i have a i have I a mean, whole block list internet. on discord yeah no i've been on it young it's just very strange okay yeah, let's no. see what chat's up to I can't tell, like, chat is, like, wild right now. I can't tell the, if it's fans or, like, lots this, of people that this, hate this me. This is, like, this there's is a, both. I've been watching yeah. a bit. Wait, hey, hey, Danny. Danny, can you get your hands on the chat? I would love to scroll through the chat. I would fuck it. If you can get your hands on there, I would love to scroll through the chat and just see what we see. It got wiped in the ban? Oh, how convenient. Ha. Ah, damn. Would be a gift, wouldn't it? There's this, like this people is the who are most... like being like Lauren Southern wants to kill like Muslim trans children, and there are some who are like we should. Uh, I I, I won't have to kill Muslim trans <laughs> children. I'm sure uh, their culture will have no okay. effect. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Wait wait wait! wait. The culture in themselves. I, I could do I could do this, Lauren. I give you the pass because I was raised I was raised in fuck by a Malaysian mom. Muslim, uh, yeah. I, I just so got you, back you, my internet Muslim. cut out. Um, oh, Zonia! Z oh, Zonia in your chat just Ignite. told me to check my DM. <laughs> it's literally a, just a, it's literally a meme that said trad wife is a kink. No, it's not. But um, it's going back goals. To what I was trying to say before my shit cut out. Um, so what was the last thing that people caught from me? We were talking about like puberty blockers and stuff. Yeah. So from all the studies that I've ever been able to see, like, and trying to compare like a like gender conversion therapy. Or any kind of therapy that would like alleviate. Oh no! Oh. Therapy, other. <laughs> what? Oh, I what? just want to oh. know. 
<laughs> uh, Squid Eye just oh. said, Lauren, do you think this army can keep your Twitch channel for you? Okay. I mean, I, I've, said, <laughs> I've said the transistor word one too many times, but uh, I'm hoping I've got four passes, or I had four passes here. You so. do. Yeah. You, okay. No, you, sure I mean, you have one from the government, too. Just being ridiculous. Do you know, have you noticed that they've just sort of repeated the same joke over and over and over again, by the way? Bazinga, bazinga. Same three joke, same two jokes, basically, over and over and over and over. It's like a cycle. It's stirring the soup in the brains of their audience. Whew. Whew. Jealous. We're going to end this uh, soon. Lauren, sure. you should talk to Calvin Garris sometime. He's like There's, a YouTuber. Oh, Calvin, Calvin Garris, like a four. Oh, sorry. How do you spell the last name? Oh, Cal I can just type it on the chat. His name Yay. is Calvin Garris. He's a very, like, female to male, very controversial person, but he's studying to be, like, I'm pretty sure, like, a therapist or a psycho psychologist. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I think he's going to be a lawyer, not a psychologist, but holy fuck. And so he could probably, if he was here, I asked him to come on, but he flight so he couldn't but he's interested in talking to you and has like a like very like good information on the uh, psychology of both sides hey i think it's important to know that uh, we ratioed keffels wait on, really on, where on uh twitch viewers oh based absolutely based we ratioed keffels where cope 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 tom foolery says what do you think would be in the chat an unbelievable amount of, tra of of transphobia, and I just I would love to see it myself. It mattered. Hopefully, her account is gone. Okay, done. you know what was wild is Keffel's ratios. Like this is like the uh, ooh, like, ooh, ooh, Are we gonna get a treat? Are we gonna get molding? Oh yes, yes! After having to deal with all this cringe, we're gonna get seething. Like Actually, Hassan. hurts me how cringe. Well. They were going into Hassan's chat and saying, and please, asking. please help me ratio this person. Please, for the love of God, if I don't ratio this person, I won't have enough internet validation to keep out of a mental institution. Lauren, you did a panel that we're watching right now called I'm Building a Trans Army because you got quadruple ratioed. I really don't think you're in the position to make fun of anyone for being pathetic. Uh, the, oh okay, so like the weirdest part about that entire story, like th this entire saga so far, right, was so two days ago, Keffels took a screenshot of somebody who has like a hundred followers and was yeah. just like defining terms used by like T used by like uh, 4chan TTT, and she was like, uh, like Keffels posted like, oh, uh, like all of these people with brain worms need to be like like absolutely stopped or whatever, <laughs> and then. And then uh, another like extremely large account stepped in named Cafe Beef, and was oh like, God. and was like, you should stop faking like you like you actually care about trans people, like you're you're literally just. Oh my God, Cafe Beef, Cafe Beef. Oh my fucking God, hold on, I have DMs with this Cafe Beef person. That Cafe Beef person messaged me one time, and I had one of the most unhinged conversations I've ever had in my entire life. Holy shit. They they came in to talk to me about like what was the word? What did they call it? Like esoteric right wing trans positions or something where they don't really believe they're like actually a woman, but they believe they should be able to have the bodily autonomy to pretend to be one or something along those lines. Actually in just literally off the rails. And I told them I didn't want I was like, I feel like you're I feel like we're not gonna get anywhere in this conversation. I wish I could remember what the actual argument was. It was so insane. I wonder if I can find it. Hold on, let's see if I can find it. Oh, yes, I can. <gasps> yes. They were mad. Hold on. They were mad. They, oh yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, this is so funny. The first message they ever sent me was, your actions displeased me, period. And then I responded, okay. And then they sent me a clip that was me dancing to the crab rave. Uh, they, it was me dancing to the crab rave when Rush Limbaugh died. 
and they were very angry about me um, dancing to the crab rave when Rush Limbaugh died because that was apparently um, like bad behavior. They were very mad about that. Uh, let's see. And then they said, well, this is cringe. And I said, well, you're being cringe, so let's call it even. And then they said, uh, let's see here. They were like, I'm I'm not normal. I'm definitely mentally ill. However, I'm trying to be normal, and I do believe it it to be a moral thing to be normal. And I said, why would being normal be morally correct? And they said, well, that's just the way society works. I'm like, so you haven't actually thought about it? And they're like, no, I have. That was my conclusion, that it is a moral thing to be normal. They were like, you can't change the system by rejecting the system. You need to meet societal obligations. And then they just sort of hand waved it. It's, it's super funny. Yeah, so then we went on talking about it, and they were talking, and then they, oh, yeah, yeah, and then they started pushing, um, then they started pushing Great Replacement stuff. So they said that you should, that basically, if you're not an assimilationist, you're bad. So they believe themselves to be mentally ill, and they believe them, them themselves to have a responsibility to be as normal as possible so that they don't bother society. Genuinely demented. So just so we know who that cafe beef, that was my, that's my only experience with cafe beef. Bullying somebody for defining terms. Yeah. She attacked that, basically like a young trans person. Yeah, she, like she, using, she like, attacked like problematic this terms. This person is such, if, for, for my chat who don't know, Caffles is like some big mentally ill brain mentally loser. Ill, like, <laughs> Twitter account that got Destiny mass reported and taken off Twitch and is... Incorrect. Destiny was not mass reported. Destiny got a manual review. We know this because we've now seen the documentation. This is an abject lie. Destiny was manually fucking banned. Trying to mass report his Twitter and stuff, and they're just going after everyone. Like, here we don't we don't know one hundred percent that um that. Destiny got banned because of we that. absolutely oh, we do. Oh, it's almost well, no. We we we, we, we Keffles, don't Keffles for sure. Tweeted, Keffles tweeted, "I got you banned from Twitch." Yeah. So perhaps it's just well, them should, trying well, to take well, it. Well, well, she could never know, right? Right. So like, yeah, yeah you don't get like a verification. Have you ever been from Twitch before. <laughs> I, I've I've been put a few out. times. Cope, 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 cope. So you know that when you get banned on Twitch, like the the email you get and all the things you get are like very vague, and you never actually ever find out the exact reason why, unless you like know for certain what it was. Like, oh, okay, it was definitely this. So part of the problem is we don't know exactly what caused it. It could have been just like Destiny talking about trans. Yes, we did get a reason. It was for hateful conduct, and it was manually reviewed, and his appeal was denied. So, no, it isn't just a mass report. Sports stuff, and that is now supposedly, and that could be just a no-no on Twitch now, like, denying that. Oh, yeah, it could have been debating could, Fuentes yeah. or stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah oh, Nick, because yeah. he's... It's po yeah, so it's possible it could be any of those three. The, um... All we know is that it's an indefinite suspension because of hateful conduct. That's what the message says. Yeah, the so hateful it, thing yeah. makes me think it was Keffles. Well, we're going to have to, you know what? We're going to have to have a little pack watch moment at the end of the stream. I mean, the hateful like, thing could right. also apply to Fuentes, unless if you yeah. think that it, it doesn't. It could literally apply it, to anyone. Yeah. Oh, I want to say something important. Did, 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 did you guys see Keffles? 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 Like, so um, but what, she, but what happened is a single, she, not any information on the inf on the topic whatsoever, or like watching any of the videos involved, or even a clip of it, based off of a single person in her chat saying, Destiny has stealthed people before, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, they already talked about um, all this. She said, she said that on stream, based off of a single dumb fucking chat, who could be some random dumb fuck. And then she lets her, ch then she sits and lets her chat simmer for like 15 minutes. Oh, uh -oh. Keffel's uh, got Keffel's Striker. Got and yeah. then, and then, a single other chat. <laughs> did Lauren just mis- Did Lauren just misgender Striker? What the fuck? Adder says, wait, to clarify, 
he, he's just argued and like argued that stealthing isn't like the worst form of rape or isn't that much of a form of rape. And then she walked it back right then after Wait, waiting like uh, three seconds for a chat to affirm it. Holy shit, I think I see people in Lauren's chat saying Kath will stealth someone. That must mean it's true. Oh, true. Oh. The chat said it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> chats. If, if, someone, mean, if someone on the internet said oh, it, it's it must be true. I, the other thing oh, that these people bring up, and so I, I saw also someone in Kathy's chat had brought up that, um... Oh, didn't they bring up the basically, there's Melina like, stuff? There's a, clip of, there's a, oh there's a clip of Destiny and Melina in a hot tub on stream, <laughs> and they're just, like, fucking around doing, like, dumb shit. And so... She's like saying no, 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 and he's like probably just tickling her or something. Not and but people made it out to be like that he literally penetrated her on stream while she was streaming no, no, no. Yeah, and, and she she, she later she later clarified him. like she later clarified that like all of that was okay because like like they have Dude, like the safe stuff words on and Twitter, stuff. Like going after Melina is weird as hell. Yeah, like, it's really yeah. weird to see like people <laughs> start targeting Melina and being like, we're gonna like go after we're your stream and everything. Yeah, uh, it's, it's funny. Or people, or like I, I saw someone that um said like after death, after we stab Destiny a hundred times, we should go after his wife too. I'm like, what the? Oh fuck? yeah, no. Let like here's the thing. Like lefties are always like peaceful revolution, and like every single time that they get the chance, they'll be like, get me up against the wall, and it's like, sure. Like you just complained about how you have like thirty thousand different variations of autism. Um, I'm really wait. Destiny wasn't it? Has wait. Okay, am I misremembering? Does somebody? Does anybody have the clip of Destiny with Hassan? Where Hassan t tells him to stop groping his his uh, groping his uh, his uh, pecs. Does anybody remember that one? Be going to like be excited when you put me against the wall yeah, and hold an M1 grand. I knew it. I knew I wasn't misremembering. Yeah, he's done this multiple times, by the way. And by the way, Hassan wasn't Hassan didn't retract anything there. In a video game and then start complaining about how loud it is wasn't it wasn't it i um i deeply regret joining this kind of destiny twitch universe it's like oh so yeah psychotic. yeah it's no it, 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 it literally I'm, ruins I'm your life for, your yeah i'm gamer. here for a brief visit and then i'm just gonna this is like the edited version yeah this is this is one of them yeah yeah this is the one this is the edited version by the way this is the edited version i've seen the original one where hassan tells him to stop multiple it's times. called movie time right sometimes you just like this grab boobies and just slap them together i'm not gonna kiss steve uh, probably ghost all y'all <laughs> yeah, they cut out the they cut out the parts where Hassan starts to get actually irritated. They cut out the parts where Hassan's like, "Stop, stop." Well, I'm sub now because yeah, I'm god after I. That's probably that, honestly for like everyone's everyone's mental health would be just better of just not engaging in the space whatsoever. Wait, I hold think on. I, I, have, I have a question. Considering that Lauren is. Consider that Lauren changed her gender. Does that mean that when she just leaves Twitch, is she effectively oh, 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 stealthing? Oh, wow. Yeah, damn. Destiny, Destiny's never engaged in anything like that. What about this? Oh, yeah, this one. I forgot this one. Damn. I know, right? If I was a real friend, I would make you... Okay. Okay, go. Get. Go. Oh, my God. Listen. I'm gonna apologize. Yeah, say sorry. Just let her play another one. Damn, bro. Yeah, but don't don't ever call Destiny. Don't ever say anything about Destiny, though. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> not stealthing as in like the not stealthing as in like the sexual content. Stealthing as in. Um, the like trans concept, like the, like the, oh, so like the trans concept of like you're I like forgot. you don't tell people you're trans because you passed a while that you don't have to tell people Ooh, that you're trans. I bet you know what's crazy is like mm. there are full on accounts with like thousands of views that have made video like conspiracies about the fact that I'm like oh, oh they actually think Kyle I'm, like, house they <laughs> actually think I'm trans. <gasps> I find those entertaining. They know. <gasps> I mean. <laughs> This don't was don't, you. don't leak has don't leak her own transistor army yeah it's fantastic yeah, don't don't now. don't leak your don't leak your don't like leak your old photos yeah right, there's this I like schizo right? post 
I thought it was like schizo meme from I'm pretty sure it was like a left I don't even I think it might not have been left or right. it might have been just like some <laughs> crazy QAnon person who was saying Kyle Rittenhouse was like female to male and they were like you like and basically got, like, the ratios of the Yeah, hip they were using like ratios. Ratios. And like, like hips the and hip hands. to shoulder ratio just doesn't <laughs> add up. <laughs> It's like, have you never seen a person out, outside of your computer? Or, or like, yes. people being like, look how, like, clear his skin is. There's no way. <laughs> um, like what is it like? Is she wiping drool from her face? No. She has been spraying her face throughout this with a, a bottle of water or something. I don't know why. But she's been spraying, spraying her face throughout, and she keeps wiping water off of her face. Cut. Oh, did I forget to invite Danny to this? Oh, oh um, no, you she's didn't. In the she's, chat. she's in, um... She's currently in, uh, like, out of state. Oh, yeah. That, that got me thinking of the, the video where Danny um, argued with uh, Ben Shapiro. Oh, God. I, I do find, like, this whole thing funny when people are like, this dumb woman, she's only defending uh, the trans community because she's a hot <laughs> woman. And I'm like... <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, that's that, that, was, that was the best part. Seeing so many can hmm. seeing like so many accounts like delete, being like, "Oh wait, she's," <laughs> and it's always the accounts that are like, "We know how to spot people." It's right like, back. yeah, like I'm I'm easy to be spotted, but like there's, like, there were people that were freaking out when Taft came, was like, "Oh yeah, I'm trans," like um, the the girl that does politically provoked was like freaking out that like Taft was trans, and who's it's like, Taft? wait, I thought I like you are. guys. I feel like I should oh, that... ask. I'm not sure I want to know any more internet personalities. Trust me. Um, I mean, then I, I, you don't want to know a lot of internet personalities because I'm, I'm pretty sure like 95% of them still think that you like literally shot an orbital <laughs> missile at an entire <laughs> you, village you that was directed. floating. You, yeah, Lauren. The amount of uh, comments. Yeah. The amount of comments on my Twitter right now that are like, "You literally murdered like forty children." What are you talking about? Or someone like just said you inspired a school shooting, and I'm like, "That's actually, for the record, I said that you failed at killing children, but you probably wanted to and probably would have if you could have. You just failed at it because you're incompetent and a terrible person." That's new. That's a new one to add to the list. I don't remember. I mean, that. I, I, I know. took a drone strike on migrant boats. That's what happened. Absolutely. That's I I know. I know. I was all all these girls. All these girls here memeing about the fact that Lauren Southern unironically inspired a mass shooting. This. I know. I was going to. Um. I I know that I made a joke in our like little private group chat, and I was like, I was going to post Eminem's White America, but somebody would accuse me of doing stochastic terrorism. Yep, Christchurch. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's so frustrating, too, because I feel like everyone that was actually listed in, like, the manifestos that people connect me to, they, they're, like, rarely mentioned by these communities, but then I'm not listed once, and the guy comes out with his... It was named after the term you coined and popularized. Lauren, everyone knows you, everyone knows how tied you were to it. It was, the document was literally named after the term you invented. And popularized, I should say. Um, plan to like kill people before I've even published my uh, video that people say inspired it, and I'm like, come on, like at least get mad at me for things that I've done that are true. <laughs> it is true. You're just coping. Yeah, he donated like three thousand dollars to you and to your organization. We all know. You're just lying and coping. Anyways. Yeah, like. There's there's a whole host of reasons to get mad. Yeah, exactly. You you play league, like come on. So true, so true. But like there are there are things like that I'd find interesting. Like I've had a lot of people in private too. They're like, tell me about that moment on the migrant boat, Lauren. Like I want to hear about it, like in private and like in public all the time. And I'm like, I just don't find this an interesting conversation because you guys have made it. Oh, how interesting! It's so boring compared to the story people have told. Like, it's so... I'm like, okay, well, let me explain. Oh, are you talking about the time when you failed to endanger children because what you were trying to do was drive people off from safe landing while they were in the middle of the ocean, but you failed at it? Yeah. And how it was actually a really lame story. And I'm like, Cope. I kind of want to, like, leave it to just the lore that they have where I am, like, shooting orbital nukes or missiles or whatever. Yeah, you, you should you should people. make it... You should make it to be, like, a John Rambo moment. Schwip, schwap.
Schwip Schwap Schwup says, how can they talk so lightly about this? Wouldn't this be the time to be serious and make a statement against violence? No, because Lauren Southern supports violence. She just doesn't do it openly. This is an age old right wing tactic. They hide their power levels. They wear a mask so that they don't scare the normies. Lauren has been doing this for years and people are literally just stupid when they fall for it. They don't, Lauren doesn't care. We talked about this as a deliberate tactic the other day. They do the I disavow thing all the fucking time. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe I'll just, I'll just own the stories they tell. Ra Rambo 3, the one where he went to the Middle East. That's, that's actually what you did the entirety of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, so it's a what moisturizer? Time, okay. time zone are y'all in? Um, I am in e Lauren, Lauren just needed to moisturize everybody. Lauren just needed to fucking moisturize. That's why she kept getting sprayed. Moisture! More moisture! Eastern, I think Striker's oh, right. Eastern with me too. I'm Eastern, yeah, I'm in Maryland, so Eastern. Yeah, it's almost uh, 12.45. I debated, I debated driving down when you and Destiny were in DC because it's only like an hour away, but I also didn't want to deal with um, going on, going through 270 you, and 495. That was fine. You should, you should wait and join Gammy when she goes when she goes down there t with the truckers. Oh God. The truckers sure. are still okay. at it in the states. But, um, yeah, they're still at it. So basically, what's funny is the truckers. Um, so basically, they stayed. I don't know how many of them are still operating. Whoa, I saw whoa, whoa, whoa. one on the road like a week ago. Sorry, so ideal. I mean, just said, Lauren, your yeah. great replacement video came out in 2017. Christchurch happened in 2019. I thought we were having an honest discussion. We are. So it proved if you actually read the um, New Zealand. This is a lie. She is about to tell you a lie, by the way. And most of my audience knows that she's about to tell you a lie because we watched the incredible Loner Box documentary about this that shows how she fucking lied. Here comes the lie. It's like deep dive report. It's like hundreds of pages, but you can go read it. The high commission. Yes, report. you can. And they proved that he decided to commit his attack early 2017. So I think it was like January or February or something was when he had made the plan. After your video came out. People. I came out with my video in it was J June or July of 2017. So no, it did not inspire someone to shoot a place up. It was his... Tr they yes, it did. Yes, it fucking did. And it wasn't just that one video. You didn't just do one video on it, Lauren. You went on speaking tours. You've been do you did a video that was earlier than that video that you conveniently hid. You went onto other people's channels, other people's shows, and talked about that specific phrase. That specific phrase, which the shooter then used as justification to kill all of those innocent people. After donating money to your organization. Interesting. They also spoke about in the High Commission report that it was his trip to Europe that he said inspired him when he was there. Obviously, he would have, I think, I think he was in France as well. That's probably where he would have heard of Bernard Camus. It was not my video. There is absolutely zero link to me in the shooter. Zero link that he... Lying. She's lying to protect her ass right now. ...watched my content. Zero donations from this dude. None of that. Wrong! And once again, he decided to shoot people before my video that everyone he donated to your organization claims inspired him came out so yes we did watch the video I mean, one wouldn't matter anyways if you didn't say something violent and someone decided to go crazy with your completely mediocre ideology whether it be you know you're like environmentalism or you just like transgender rights or whatever like if someone decides to take that and spin it into some schizoid post that's not your fault lauren lauren you, your videos talked about how the end of white, of, of white civilization was coming. Your videos talked with extreme fervor about how everyone was going to be replaced, how the West was going to crumble. You were the one writing the crazy shit. You, your videos talk about it as if it is an imposing cataclysmic event. Yes, notice how strategic she is. She specifically sh says he didn't donate to her. Technicalities, everybody. What if you were pro-protest but didn't like rioting <laughs> and thought that it needed to be stopped? Pro-protest but didn't like rioting? 
and thought the rioting needed to be stopped. I think that's reasonable. Wait, are you making? Is there like a meme here? I think uh, Striker it's, gets it's, it. It's, it's, it's the um, it's the original clip that got Destiny unpartnered. Oh, in, the on Twitch, yeah. House one, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, the, Lauren the is even Lauren is getting annoyed with how much these nerds keep referencing Destiny, isn't it? Do you know how guys? I want to just take them like let's let's just think about this for a second. This is so inconvenient for Destiny. Videos like this have to be really inconvenient for Destiny because Destiny's like, I'm not a conservative. I'm not a conservative. It's just I get name dropped on hardcore conservative uh, uh, anti-trans panels constantly. Dude. The writing needs to fucking stop and blah, blah, blah. I won't repeat the rest. <laughs> but um, but yeah, anyway, so like the truckers actually are actually um, where they hole up is 30 minutes away from me up in what is actually my hometown. <laughs> Um, and no, you gave away your hometown too. This person has turbo. Striker has turbo docs herself. Holy shit! This is the third piece of private information. Not, it's not the most left-leaning part of the state. The Maryland in general is pretty left-leaning, but that that part is like way more like West Virginia than it is like Maryland. Mm -hmm. And then they drive down and then they circle the Beltway. That's all they do. They don't go into DC. They circle the Beltway and just try to fuck up traffic for a few hours well i guess they can't really go into dc hey god like, help them all it, it would be pretty blocked off and i think they probably don't want to have like a oh you yeah. stormed the capital to try and kill a bunch of people yeah. thing. So the, plus, yeah, plus if you even try to drive down, down there so i haven't well i've also not been down um down in 495 area like the no like ops the, like i know that yep. area of maryland a lot recently i was there a few weeks ago i didn't see any of them I, the only time I saw one was coming back up when I was at like a dermatologist appointment. I saw one on the side of the road with his like um the, the whatever they're calling themselves. I can't remember what it was in the back. Freedom convoys. That's it. Yeah, it was freedom. Yeah, freedom convoy or something like that on the back of the car, and then no, had all sorts sec? of other schizo posting things on uh, like stickers on his car. Yeah, on it while on his okay. car. I think it was a, a truck plus like a. It was like a weird RV thing, like a weird wood panel RV thing. It was some strange shit. Go say hi to them. Go have go have food with them. I'm sure they'll be nice. Yeah. Go, go hang out with <laughs> we'll them. It'll be it'll be awesome. So when it's almost chat, over, Kesis. To of my We're gonna move over to something else um, in a minute. We're gonna chill for a bit. And repeated it back. We've been going a long time. Held it I didn't think this. I didn't think this conversation was going to be uh, that entertaining, <laughs> and also this cringe. Based Twitch mods saving me from uh... saving you <laughs> from your epic gamer moment. Are you actually planning to come join the trucker rally? <sighs> oh my Can't... gosh! Someone in my chat just said Keppels is trying to ratio. Oh ben my Shapiro god! Tweet on stream that Ben tweeted ten. Hours. Succeeded, by the way. Keffels Keffels successfully. Uh, ratioed Ben Shapiro. Hours ago. That's so embarrassing. Wow. Like, who cares? You get more likes. It, it actually. Remember, Lauren Southern did this entire panel because she got ratioed by Keffels. That's how mad Lauren Southern was. It is. Cope. It's genuinely cope, like, cope, cope, cope. unfathomable a little to me. That like obviously it sucks. It really sucks if you get like a bunch of transphobic DMs or people saying like forty one percent or kill yourself T slur and stuff like that. In a video game. I but, think yeah. that sometimes people get what they put out into the universe. Yeah. Well, well I, I, was, I was saying, like, that, that stuff sucks. People, lo, Gammy says people get what they put out into the universe. Gammy, I hate to tell you this, but if that's true, you better hope to God that that is not true. You better hope to God that's not true. Because what do you put out into the universe? Whew. Your karmic, your karma account is in fucking the the fucking blistering negatives Whew. but like the reality is you just have like you have two options you have to either block them and move on or close the browser tab for a few hours like and or then also the fact that these people, you know, the, or if you have a mental breakdown because <laughs> of someone being mean to you on the internet you, you genuinely have severe issues <laughs> um, and then the other thing is like if it genuinely makes your day better to ratio someone or it genuinely makes your day worse to get quote tweeted it yeah I, it's just unfathomable to me just turn off the just get one just delete your twitter account because you lauren goes yeah yeah if your day gets ruined if you if you get mad and you put together a panel that's totally pathetic not me though not me 
I'm not mad. Clearly can't handle the internet. Hard cope. So true. Hard yeah. cope. Like, yeah. yeah. Get therapy. I, well, you, can't, you can't handle like life if you can't handle being quote tweeted. Some somebody reblocked me on Twitter because they were talking. It was the same person that Keffels retweeted, or that Keffels retweeted, and was like, "Oh my God, thank you. Your ratio saved my mental health." <laughs> and like, and like, I I quote tweeted that, and then I just posted the instructions from Apple that said how to lock an iPhone, <laughs> and I got blocked again. It was based. <laughs> So funny. Oh, no. Sleepy. What a good joke. Oh, you sent an image from Google? <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> what a, I'm having a, a, such a chuckle. Thinking about... um. You did it? You posted I, I an image from Google? On stream, that, like, wow! Meme where it's got that family, like, overlooking the Golden City, and people oh, are like, yeah. Russia, like Russia after Pornhub, McDonald's, and all these different <laughs> things that Twitter have been banned. <laughs> Then, yeah i'm like that's me if they actually get me banned off twitter like i oh can't you know it's an addiction so people can't just walk away from twitter but if people forcibly put you in rehab then what happens <laughs> is you've just been kicked out of like the mud pit that all these pigs are wrestling in forcibly and they're stuck in the mud. then delete your accounts lauren just delete your accounts you should delete your accounts right now delete your twitch delete your social media all of them if it's true that all you are is addicted, the best thing that you could possibly do by your own moral framework would be to delete all these accounts, but you won't because you're a liar, because you have no spine, because you don't believe in anything. But wrestling each other and you're happy and rehabilitated. <laughs> I, 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 I like to say that the, I, I just <laughs> wish that the internet wasn't so ratified. Trouble. What? <laughs> Lord, oh God. Do you see what I, you see what I like? Wait, uh, what? What happened? Do the, yeah, do you see the tweet I just linked? No, yeah, well, let me go your, back. Your, your, oh, best, no. your best buddy Chloe's making fun of you. What a fucking cunt. Oh my god. This is the DIY person, by the way. Sorry, people on Twitter are getting mad at uh, my, my army because we're too powerful. <laughs> yeah. Someone said I can smell the white supremacy from here. Hell yes. Got I'm not even white, but okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, sorry, okay. I gotta oh, kick yeah. you. People are... People on, yeah, Twitter, gonna... people on Twitter are, 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 they're seething because, because they keep losing. They, they're seething because they keep losing. Oh, they're so mad. I'm not mad though. Not me. Not fucking me. Bye, Lauren. Bye, Lauren. Loser. Hey, God damn, oh. then I can't get my nails done. <gasps> oh, yeah. Although my cousin, my did my army because we're too powerful <laughs> yeah someone said i can smell the white supremacy from here hell yes Got him. i'm not even white but okay <laughs> uh oh, oh <gasps> sorry okay. i gotta oh, kick yeah. you no <laughs> yeah i was gonna say god damn <laughs>
the, to have, have Twitter debates over letters. Jesus. Yeah. No, that's not. That's, that's I, not I know. what you mean. I know. Okay. Neil Moirai real. Neil Moirai realizes that Ted Kaczynski was a primitivist, right? She's make she's so stupid she doesn't even know the jokes she's making. Kaczynski was a primitivist. That's why he did the bombings. What? I, okay. I, I was gonna say I'd send I'm puzzles, but it, I don't want right? to go that far. Right, listen. <laughs> Shh. Well, just Army, just yeah, I haven't I haven't activated you yet, okay, Army? Like just chill. <laughs> What's that movie like? The oh, she's spraying again. She's oh, yeah, spraying again. You, you whisper the signal. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. Hey, okay, I've got the Transturian candidates here. It's gonna be great. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's it's not a sleeper cell. I'm a sleepy cell. A sleepy <laughs> cell. Haha, <laughs> got him. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna go and eat snacks. And I, okay, I, I gotta be honest. It's um, I I love like old two thousands TV shows. Like I, I loved Doctor Who, and uh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just watching. Moisturize me. We can tell. I'm watching Merlin <laughs> right now. Merlin is really really good. What it's is Merlin? So good. Oh Basically, my god. It's a it's a it's a re it's like a. All right. All right, everybody. Now. Now, I think we've enjoyed our time. I don't think we need to spend any more time with them. Do I need to even say anything after all that? A wild ride, hasn't it? Hasn't it been such a wild ride? Isn't it great that that, uh, that deleted stream is going to forever be recorded via my reaction on YouTube? Isn't that great that any time in the future, you all want to see or prove to people you've got this one right here isn't that fucking great if you all wanted to you know express yourselves using your free speech you have timestamps you have everything you could ever need and it's not going anywhere because it's backed up on my on my backups it's backed up on my hard drive we got this shit forever.